Hello everyone and welcome back. <laughs> it feels good to be in my room today instead of in Dan's office like I was yesterday. <laughs> uh, but I hope you had a wonderful day so far and everything. Uh, we're gonna play some Sims today because today is the one year anniversary of the infant update coming out. So I thought that we could play a little bit of the 100 baby challenge um, and try and work some more on what we've been doing in there. That's the plan. So happy Thursday. I have had a long day. <laughs> I have had a long day, but it's okay. We were at the vet this morning um, with Snap because she has like a weird lump on her leg. Um, and plus it's been six months since she had her blood work and she's got kidney disease. So we had to go back and do that. And it's just like, <sighs> anyway, it's fine. She's old. Lots of animals get lumpy and bumpy when they get old, <laughs> but um, they took a little, they, they're they testing it. They sent it off to be, um, to a pathologist to look at the sample from her lump on her leg and hopefully everything's fine. <laughs> I didn't really understand what the vet was talking about when she described it. She said that it's, um, she thinks it's not bad, but she's never seen it before. Like when she looked at the cells under her microscope, she was like, that's strange, but I don't think it looks bad. <laughs> it just looks unusual. <laughs> um, okay, so <laughs> um, we'll see what that means when the pathologist looks at it, but um, yikes, I guess. I don't know if that's comforting or if it's not comforting. I'm not really sure, you know, maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> I, I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, and Lucy, and Princess, and Claudia, and Emma, we got Keeks, and Ali, and Caitlin, and, and Juju, and Bagel, and Julia, and Evie, and Alex, and Honoria, and Sammy, and Witty. Thank you for the subs and business, everybody. It's good to see you. Um, where's this energy for the toddler update? What about their birthdays? Got an answer, Simsy? Um, well, Egg, I know you're probably kidding, but just in case anybody else is wondering about the same question, um, well, it's been exactly one year since the infant update. And it's been about seven since the toddler update or something. <laughs> so um, they're not really as deserving of uh, fresh celebration because it's been a while. <laughs> so um, that would be why. The other big news, the other big Sims related news is that the backyard stuff pack is free right now. Um, and it's it's free both on PC and on console. Um, so you'll have to look into that one if you don't have backyard stuff, but you can get it for free right now. Um, that's We were literally just talking about that. I swear, like last week we were talking about how it's been a while since there's been a free pack, but it did a couple free packs in like December. And now all of a sudden this one is, uh, is free. So um, if you wanted to go grab it, make sure you run and get the backyard stuff pack while it is available for free. Um, you can like buy it for free. It's not going to be just today. It'll be probably for a bit. I don't know how long it'll be on sale for, but um, the last ones were on sale for like a couple weeks, but I would just get it as soon as you can to be safe. <laughs> um, and no, they don't do free packs this often normally, Confusion. This is new. Um, it's only the first couple times this has happened, so we don't really have like a a standard for what is a normal frequency for free packs because before there were no free packs. <laughs> so um, these past couple times have been like the first times that it's really happened outside of like the Desert Lux kit. So um, anyway, it's the Backyard Stuff Pack. I have a very fond, a, a big fondness in my heart for the Backyard Stuff Pack because that was the first Sims pack that I ever got for free. <laughs> it was the first one they ever gave me access to for free. I got a code for that one. Um, I didn't get like early access, I just got given a, like a code. Um, but I have a, a soft spot for that one. Um, just because it was my first time, so. <laughs> um, I don't know how long this sale will be on Beautiful, but when I say that, it's hard to explain this in a way that makes sense to people because when I say it's free right now, I don't mean that it's gonna, they're gonna take it away from you. You can buy it for zero dollars for like probably a couple weeks right now. And then if you don't get it before then it'll go away and not be free anymore. But if you buy it now, you'll have it forever. Um, you just have to buy it for zero dollars. Do you understand? <laughs> um, so you gotta make sure you like go and claim it basically. Um, otherwise it'll go away. Just put like a reminder in your phone so next time you're on your computer you do it, you know? Um, yeah, to be inspired, thank you for the gift 
and Subs and Tiger Lily and Amanda and Huffle uh, and Miss Minnie and Brianna and Tisa and Dizzy and Amel and Tella and Aaron. We got Arthi and Lady and Johnson and Jesse and Shabrayli and we got Games and Hulk and Arthi. Thank you all for the subs. Um, it's free on console too. It is free on both computer and console. I'm gonna ask you guys, Google it. If you're confused by what I'm saying to you, look it up. And I mean that with the most love. It'll answer all your questions. You'll have a way easier time. It's the backyard stuff. It's free everywhere. Um, if you, I honestly, you guys, if you play The Sims on console, if you can, obviously get it on console, but also it's, The Sims is free to play. The base game is free. So like if, if you have maybe a laptop or like a friend you know has a laptop, make an EA account and like claim it now. Cause what if you get a computer someday, you know? Um, so I would, I would encourage you to, to claim it across all of the platforms when it is free because you can get it for free right now, you know? <laughs> um, like it's, there's no harm in that. It's not going to go away. So, um, I would, I would claim it now, even if you don't play on computer. Um, cause what if you do someday, you know? You don't know what's, what's gonna happen. Take it, take it while you got it, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but it's, it's a fun pack, so. Um, anyway, let's, let me show you all what we've been up to in the past couple days in this save though. So we're playing the 100 baby challenge right now. My sim is pregnant. Um, we're gonna give birth any second. Oh God. Um, I believe that last time we played, I did find a person to have kids with next. Yeah, we were talking to Seth. Okay. Um, and we've been working on doing some crystal making and also going to space. Those have been our two, like, um, big tasks. We currently have four kids in the house. Don't worry about them. I don't know their names either, so you don't need to know their names. Um, and we have had almost 69 babies. Um, so, <laughs> um, that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Um, it's free until April 13th. The backyard stuff pack is free until April 13th. Um, so make sure you get it before then. Make sure you buy it before then, you know? Um, so you don't miss out. That's a while. That's a whole month. That's better than I thought. I thought it was going to be like two weeks, but a whole month is pretty good. So you got plenty of time. I'll make a video and I'll talk about it. Um, why are they making a bunch of stuff packs free? Have they realized how much of a ripoff they are? Um, I mean, I know, I know that you're like digging at them because it's fun. <laughs> I don't know if that's why they're making them free. <laughs> um, I, I think that it's because it is a very uh, low cost way to get some good faith from the community. Um, they are not really losing any money by giving you this really extremely old stuff pack for free that isn't being bought as much. Um, and it makes you happy with them. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I think that's probably part of it. <laughs> um, I don't think it's because Crystal Creations had an issue. I think that's unrelated. I, they gave out stuff packs for free in December too. I, um, yeah, anyway, um, that's kind of my thought at least. If I were them, that's why I would be doing it, but we'll see. Um, we shall see. Um, okay, so looks like we should be good to start playing then. Um, and then we can, we can get a move on. Let's resume the necklace. Yes, shall we? <laughs> um, how do you get a background for the loading screen on The Sims 4 using an Xbox One? I'm sorry, Moonlight, you can't have mods on Xbox. So when you see people that have like a custom loading screen that isn't like the, the default blank blue one, um, that's because they have a mod installed and you can't use mods on console. Um, so unfortunately you can't do it. You can only do it on the computer. You can't have any mods on like PlayStation or Xbox. Um, I'm really sorry. No, that kind of sucks. <laughs> That's just a limitation of consoles is you can't really mod any games on console. So, um, Emma and Karen and Patty and Rose and Lisa and Ash. Thank you all for the subs, right, buddy? Also, Batty uh, and Ursi and Rebecca and Mama. Thank you so much. Grades are up. Oh, good. We can get rid of this one. There we go. So you have an A. You can be gone. You can become a teen. You still have a C. Oh my God. All right, we'll start there. Um, yeah, they are trying to hide that Prime subscription. You're right. They are they are not making it easy to sub with Prime on Twitch. I've seen so many more people recently being like, "Where's the Prime? The Prime button's gone. It's lost." Um, they're they've really been trying to uh, make that one harder to find, <laughs> um, which kind of sucks that they're doing that. Obviously, they don't want to pay out from it, but. Um, Dan is cranky. I moved his stuff around in OBS. I only moved one thing. Oh my god, he needs to calm down. I only moved one thing. <laughs> um, Alexandra and Nim and Lama and Huffle and Piney and Alyssa, thank you for the subs. Wah wah, Dan. Wah wah. I, um, 
I streamed from Dan's computer yesterday because we got a new air conditioner installed yesterday. Um, and so they were, they had to be in here in my closet because like the inside part of it is in here. Um, so they had to be in that closet to work on it. Um, so I couldn't stream from in here when they were in here, you know, like that's just not going to happen. Um, so I streamed from Dan's office yesterday on his computer. <laughs> um, okay, let's have you come blow out the candles too, kid. We'll get rid of you. We had a field trip to Dan's office, if you will. <laughs> um, which is kind of a funny way of looking at it. Okay, oops, I pressed it twice, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Would you care to add me my birthday candles back? And then I will kick this one out. All right, one less sim to worry about. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, five and Penny and Emma and Purple and Ollie, thank you for the subs. Um, didn't know, I mean, look, field trip is a funny way of describing our trip to Dan's office, I think. People liked it. it I think it was fun. Um, we were going to play, um, we were going to play the house slipper yesterday, but then we were kind of having some problems with it. So we had to play Sims instead. Uh, but we did a build, it was fun. Um, I used uh, Dan's packs instead. <laughs> um, and he is, his office is cozy because the lighting looks pretty cool. So, um, okay, let me kick you out. Oh, my game is like kind of lagging. There's too many of you in there. Let me like give it a second. Maybe I can tr transfer it from here. Um, you missed the field trip? Yeah, I did it. It was yesterday morning. Um, I stream in the morning on Wednesdays. So that was why. All right, bye, Shrimpy. It was nice knowing you. Wow. Dan has most of the packs. He's missing the kits, pretty much. The kits and like a couple game packs um, is pretty much what Dan is missing. But he has most of the, the packs. So he's bought the game packs and stuff. He doesn't have the most recent, I think he's missing the like the most recent two game packs and the most recent couple stuff packs. So, well, I recommend the 100 baby challenge for the average simmer. I wouldn't recommend this challenge to anybody. I'm gonna close the game and reopen it because it's being kind of weird. Um, it's I, it's not for the faint of heart, this challenge. Let's just say that. <laughs> Planet Blue, thanks for 21 months. Um, <laughs> no, I, I uh, you, you need to know what you're getting yourself into if you attempt this challenge. You need to be ready. <laughs> you need to be prepared. Um, it's for people who want to suffer this sorts of challenge, you know? It's, uh, not for the average person, perhaps. <laughs> I keep joking to chat. I'm, people will ask me, like, hey, Kayla, should I try this? And I'll be like, no. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> no, don't try it. <laughs> but it's, it's fun. If I were you, I would do, like, the 20 baby challenge. You know? Maybe like 25 and then call in. You, the people do like the alphabet one where you do 26 and you name the kids all A to Z type of names. You could try that too. Um, and that's like a little bit more um, attainable. It's not so much that it's hard. It just, I think that it reaches a point where it gets kind of boring and repetitive, um, which is why we are now doing side quests. <laughs> Um, cause it's, we're like trying to get to space and we were doing the like crystal stuff. Um, cause it just makes it a little bit more fun because it's so the same, just have a kid, raise the kid, have a kid, raise the kid, like over and over that it kind of isn't fun after a certain point, you know? Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's my advice. <laughs> that's my advice to you. 10 babies and then call it. That's true. Also, that might be fun as well. Um, there's ways you can make it more interesting, but there's other challenges that I would like recommend over this one that I think are more fun. So we started this back in May, this save Mangela. Um, we've not been playing it that quickly. If I tried harder, we could have been done by now, but we've been messing around a little bit too much. <laughs> so we're not done yet. <laughs> Brittany and Barnett, Dika Stan, and Sweet Music, and Mrs. and Julia, and Jay Hart, and Arcadia, thank you for the subs. Um, oh, you did it, but it's Del Lothario. That is kind of fun to play it, like, opposite, like, impregnating people. Oh my god, why is it being so slow to load? Alright, we are back, and I only have three sims in my house. Do you think that means that I should force us to have twins, or is that a bad idea? 
Because it's very easy for us to do that. I'm gonna regret that, I think. We only have the three Sims. I could so easily put on Leyline, and we just have them. Oh, but no, we want the baby count to say 69. Maybe we can have twins with the next baby. No, you're right about that. We wanted to say 69. It's more fun this way. We can. You understand. <laughs> you understand. We can't, we can't get, we can't just like jump past to 70. That wouldn't be fun. Boring, boring. Okay, did you finish this yet? Keep it up. You're gonna get pregnant, or sorry, you're gonna give birth anytime and then we have to get pregnant again, but I'll let you finish that and then maybe we can um, work on upgrading the... Oh, you know what you need to do instead actually is paint this because I need the money from it. We're doing a little bit worse with money than I thought we were. Can anything in here be sold? A couple bits. I heard you and shrimp are friends. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> am I live earlier than normal? Yeah, this, I mean, I am not live earlier than normal, but it might be earlier for you <laughs> um, because of the time change in the US. Um, it's, uh, I usually go live at four o'clock Eastern time. Our clocks changed over the weekend. So it's still four o'clock Eastern time for me, but if your clocks haven't changed yet, I might be live earlier because our time difference is smaller now. Um, Cause we, our clocks went forward an hour. So it's only until your clocks change if your country changes clocks, um, which in Europe is at the end of March. I know that for a fact, I don't know about any, anywhere else. Um, that would be why. <laughs> um, it's like a weird couple of weeks, like this weird in-between where my clocks changed and yours didn't. Um, but that might be nice. A lot of people in Europe are like pretty pleased about that. So, um, oh, Seth wants to come over. Oh, that's who we're going to have kids with next. So that's probably fine. You know what else? I've never seen this painting before. That is my first time I have ever seen that. Ah! I'm not gonna be your girlfriend. Oh my god, are you gonna hate me now because of that? Oh jeez. That's gonna complicate things. What? Can you not? S Why can't I click on it to sell it? Oh my god, my game is lagging so much. Why is it doing this to me today? I don't have energy for this today. <laughs> um, I can't deal with this. Okay. Which one of you, this one finished their project, so you can come do that too. Um, can a robot impregnate you? I'm gonna go with no. I don't believe so. I'd be very surprised if they could. <laughs> Jenny, happy Marissa, Maddie, thank you for the sub, sorry buddy. Um, hopefully I am caught up. Are we caught up? Um, yeah, they, they can't uh, impregnate you because they're like, an alien. I mean, uh, sorry, if <laughs> not an alien, they're a robot. Why do I call them an alien? That's not even close to being right. Robots, they don't have like the necessary, um, you know. Male robots can be impregnated by aliens. You know, I've been told that. Um, and I didn't know if I believed it, but now you're the second person that said that. Um, which, I mean, that's really interesting, actually. Yeah, and our crystal tree finally grew. It's not ready to be harvested yet, but we do finally have one. Um, okay, why are you making that? That's so unnecessary. Don't do it anymore. Just keep working on this, actually. Let's do ion cannon defense system until the baby is born. We might need to do some testing. Let me, let me write this down. Because... I, I'll experiment with it. I put it in my notes. We'll, we'll experiment with it. Your crystal tree grew in two days on the third you had crystals. Like you planted it from a seed and it became a crystal tree in two days. It takes seven days normally for it to grow out of the ground. And then a day after that for it to get crystals. Or maybe not a full day, but a little bit of time. Um, even when you're playing in a micro home, it still takes a long time. I speak from experience when I say that. <laughs> All right, we're level seven, almost eight rocket science. I need level 10. No, micro home bonus does not affect it. I'm telling you, <laughs> as a person who literally just waited a full seven days in game, um, and I'm in a micro home, it, does, it doesn't work. Um, so, that's, uh... 
that's the situation, I guess. Um, okay, would you like to come watch some TV? Maybe you can use the bathroom. My sims are like miserable. So that's not good. Um, lifespan won't affect plant growth. No, it doesn't matter if you're on a short lifespan or not. It won't matter to the game for how the plants grow. That does not affect it. Um, okay. Oh, and it's happening. All right, well, we've gone into labor. This is baby number 69. <laughs> Have baby at the hospital, let's go. All right, now we got one more thing to worry about. <laughs> Um, Lil and Taylor and hello, thank you for the subs. I really appreciate that. Um, that is really cool that you were able to learn English for watching YouTubers. That's really impressive. Um, I'm glad that uh, we could help you with that. <laughs> um, and Zelda, thank you for the incredibly kind words. Thank you so much for the resub. Okay, this is big. Number 69 officially is born. Now, when we play the, the I almost said not so very. When I play the 100 baby challenge, um, we, we randomize our names off of a spreadsheet that I have which I will show you now. Um, we have this really lovely spreadsheet that I use to, oh, let me zoom in maybe for you a little bit more. We have this lovely spreadsheet that we use to keep track of all of the kids that we've had. Um, and this is how we pick a name. So we will randomize a number off of it. We have on this a long list of name suggestions. These were all recommended by people that donated to our charity fundraiser back in May. And the baby is going to be called, 1,534, let's find out, One th oh, I scrolled back up to the top, 1,534, oh, right above the one that we just did, that's so weird that there are like two in a row that have been spun, <laughs> macaron, okay, I'll add it onto the list, thank you very much to the child, I shall also change my stream title, because we have 69 kids, so I'll update it. Um, nice. Also, before you ask, um, no, I did not pick the wrong name. We used the big number, okay? <laughs> we used the big number, intentionally. Um, okay. Baby is officially born. Congratulations. Oh, lag. Wow, yikes. And it's a spellcaster. Technically, we could count that double. But I'm not going to, because I went on and on about how I think that's cheating. So, you're so organized. Well, it's it makes it more fun when we do it on stream. Like when you have um, like big long lists like this uh, in the spreadsheet, because people ask all the time, like, oh, you know, how many babies have you had? How many? What are their names? And then we can just direct them to the spreadsheet, and it answers everybody's questions. Um, so it's very helpful in that way. Um, I have to get pregnant again. Is that guy here? Oh, lag again. Wow, yikes. Um, Seth? No, you need to come back. Maybe I'll just let him leave and I'll invite him back over. Because that might make my life easier, to be honest. Um, it'll be quicker to... <gasps> Tiny? Guys, this thing just came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it launched itself onto my desk. I know you don't like to be held. I had to show the people. Show the people. This is Sunny. It's the little one. Wow, that was kind of scary. <laughs> I didn't even hear you come in and then it was on my desk. <laughs> Literally like launched herself onto the desk. Okay. <laughs> Jump scare. Well, are you going to knock things off my desk? No, she's going to sit in the basket. That's fine. You can do that if you would like to, miss. Um, she is very little. She really is very little. Oh, are you still walking away? I don't even, oh, and she's gone. Tiny, come here. Come back, don't leave. Tiny. I got her to come back. Do you wanna sit on your tree? You wanna sit up there? As if she's listening to me, she doesn't care. Oh, it's lost, I don't know where it went. Okay, anyway, we had a cat for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you care to invite Seth to hang out at our current lot? And the rest of these people all need to go to bed. You go to sleep. You Oh, Seth is sleeping? Oh my god, that's actually really bad. Is he in the club? He is. What? 
Oh my god. I've been brought to the wrong place. Oh my god. I thought it was at my house. It's not. I don't know where I'm going. It's fine. <laughs> Lady Rosie, Indigo, Capricorn, thank you for the subs. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, let's head back instead. I'll just bring the one person. Well, that's not going well. Off to Del Sol Valley. And then, wait, which one was it? Seth, okay. There we go. Was there five graves on that lot? Was there really? <gasps> it's back again. I don't know where she came from. <laughs> the way she's like jumping and flying around. Don't look at her, then she'll come over. This is big news for us. Hopefully she lays down and stays there. Okay. Um. What? I thought I brought you with me. Oh my god. I am sick and tired of this. My game is having a real- Oh, there we go. Never mind. We're fine. Um, would you care to try for a baby with Seth? And then I'll put all the other kids to bed. That would be helpful. Um, Lavender Soda Pop Lady Rosie, thank you for the subs. No, 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 no. Sit down. Lay down. She might do it. She's sniffing. That's a good sign. Okay, I'm... Do I want to let her have twins? Maybe I don't. I've changed my mind. Twins are a bad idea in this challenge. Oh. She's sitting more. She's still sniffing. You heard a meow? I didn't. Maybe it's because of my headphones. I'm jealous. Oh, hi! Stay there. I shouldn't have looked at you. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's because I looked at her. She spoke to me. <laughs> I hope she doesn't come over because of that. I want her to, obviously, but I don't want her to... Wait, did you actually try for the baby or no? Oh, no, because this kid's in the wrong bed. Get out! Okay. Um, try for baby with Seth, please. Try again. Try again. Kids and adults can sleep in the same bed. Well, anyone who is, um, like, close enough friend or family can sleep in the same bed. So, like, a kid can sleep in their parents' bed, yeah. Um, I don't think that's, that's, that's surprising. Oh, she ditched us. She's back there now. Which is worse. Oh, boy. Are you gonna- Don't sleep! No, 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 no. Where did he go? I haven't even talked to the, the baby yet. Oh, here we go. Well, she could do anything and show up anywhere. She might come back again. This is the problem with kittens. They're a bit, um, chaotic. One might say. <laughs> That's perhaps an understatement, but okay. Well, now I had you kiss each other's hands. Can you try for baby in this? Finally, oh my God. We don't want to have twins, Mayra. I think we've decided that that would be bad. It's always a good idea in theory, but in practice in this challenge, it makes it worse. You missed Snappy Camp? I was- I left her sitting on the couch when I came upstairs. Um, Snappy's had a rough day. She had to go to the vet this morning, um, and they had to stab her with a couple needles to take her blood and then also to check on a, um, lump in her leg. <laughs> so, Snappy has been, uh, she's been going through it. She's not really thriving today. <laughs> Alright, we are pregnant. Watch well, it be twins just by accident. Let's check. No, it's not. Okay. Now I can take care of this baby. Oh, would you like to, before you do that, can you take photos with Seth? Because I don't remember if I did that last time we played. Oh, is that Seth? That one looks like Seth to me. Maybe we're fine. We should be fine. Okay, so this will be baby number 70. 
and his name was Seth Moon. Okay. Well, never mind. I don't need you anymore. I can kill you. Where are you, Seth? Also, someone just asked, are we actually 69 babies or is it a joke? <laughs> we are actually a 69 babies. <laughs> it was just born. Um, wait, MC and commands, maintain sim, kill sim. Um, I'll, I'll freeze you again. That's always one of my faves. Okay, and then I can feed this baby while we're at it. Super efficient newborn care. Yeah. It's like a mix of the Black Widow and 100 baby challenges. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> Jenster, you got um, Argentine and Lavender and Soda Pop. Thanks for the subs. Um, all right. Are you done? You can age this one up now. Baby care, age up. Come on. We shall start there. All right. How old are the kitties now? Um, they were probably born in June. Um, so they're getting up there. <laughs> we, we're gonna do a little uh, joint cat birthday party in June for all three of the cats, I think. Um, this one is indeed a spellcaster. Um, would you like to get carried here by your mother? Um, Cause my snap was probably born in June too. Um, so we're gonna, I'm getting called about that guy dying. That's so funny. Um, so we'll have like a triple birthday is my plan. Okay, that one's all set up now. Please don't call me. I don't want to deal with it. Wait, I saw, I thought that, oh, Seth isn't a spellcaster. It was the one before Seth that was a spellcaster. Seth was just a human. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we'll get ready for the future baby then. Whatever ends up coming next. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> Awkward. Um, would you care to just go to sleep, honestly, Rosa? That might be helpful. If I ever do this challenge again, which I won't be doing, but say I did, I might play as a spellcaster. Like, have the mom be a spellcaster, because it's quite- I've learned my lesson, and actually spellcasters are really helpful. So, I, I think, uh, my eyes have been opened. So. <laughs> okay, um, would you care to- actually, maybe you could help with the baby. This might be good, you could do some tummy time with the baby. You don't feel sad about that random guy. You didn't even know him. Maybe you could help us though. All right. Yeah, they're like all these spells, the duplicate spell, the food spell, repairing spells. Oh, we do have school today, right? Yeah, okay. We can't be skipping out on school just because of Winterfest. <laughs> um, I'll run. I built this house a couple weeks ago. I don't remember exactly what day I built this house, but it's been a couple weeks since I built it. Um, we wanted to make a, a fake micro home so we could get all of the perks, um, was kind of the idea. And it's been, it's, it's like revitalized my need for this challenge. It's made me like it a million times better. <gasps> oh, I thought it was the plum bite. I really thought it was plum bite for a second. It's not. I saw green and I got excited. Um, so. <laughs> Anyway, um, reach milestone, that's pretty good. You don't feel sad either, kids. I know you don't. Get over it. You're gonna shower. Now you have some time before school. Oh, trash everywhere in there. Did I try crystals with it? Yeah, yeah, we've been doing the crystals. Um, we've been trying to get to the, we need the plum bite so we can get our needs cheats, basically, has kind of been the goal recently. Um, try to get our hands on the plum bite for the most part. But, um, oh no, did you finish showering yet? Sorry, I didn't mean to cancel your shower interaction. That's my bad. You can work carefully on that. Um, we're trying to get the good crystals. So that's why I'm trying to have her go to space and we just, we finally grew the crystal tree. This is our first harvest from the crystal tree. Um, we have not yet harvested this thing. This is a, a new one for us. Um, yeah, the potion of plentiful needs. Can you imagine having that in this challenge? 
What? Why does this keep coming back? Oh my. Alright, what all did you get just then? Obviously we have the nightlight. You got some amethyst. Jade. Boring. Back to sleep. Maybe we should have Rosa become a spellcaster? Do you think so? I feel like we need to do this one step at a time. We have- we already have a side quest. So we should probably focus on the- the current side quest first. <laughs> and then we can- we can become a spellcaster, maybe. <laughs> Strawberry Jets, thank you for the subs. Um, that might be the best- the best idea. We all know you're not doing this challenge again, so why wait? Our current side quest is- is, um, the gems. We're trying to get all of the crystals that we can use to, like, cheat needs and stuff. Um, and I want to do that before we get anything better, you know? Oh! Hello! Tiny! You came back! You're licking your lips because you must have just had a snack, huh? <laughs> Our little voice is so weird. <laughs> no offense, Tiny. Come here. Do you want to go sit on the chair so people can look at you? Oh, she listened. What did I just say? She did it. <laughs> okay, you can kind of see a little nose if you look real close on the left corner of the cat cam. <laughs> oh, grab milestone unlocked. That's pretty good. You could probably try to go night night after that, honestly. I don't want to call her over by accident. I had this problem with Snap where like I get excited about Snap being on the cat cam and then I'll like look at her and then she meows and comes to me. And that's not what we want. We want her to stay there. <laughs> the cat tree is not close enough to the window. Yeah, she wants to be on the window, still not on the tree. But the tree has more space. It's better. She's back though. She has rejoined us. She's gotten so big. I know. Yeah, she weighs like almost eight pounds now, um, which is pretty close to the same size as Snap. She's a little bit smaller than Snap still. Um, but um, yeah, she's uh, she's grown a lot. <laughs> Felix. Oh, wait. Did the maid put the food away or what are we dealing with? Yeah, we're out of food. I can get some more. Let me serve an assortment. I don't think that this tree is tall enough for Sunny. She's quite a climber. Um, she likes to go up high, but but this tree is um, more appropriate for like snap. And Shrimp likes it because there's toys on it. So um, he there's like a I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a string hanging from it where there's like a place for her to oh my god, where they can play. Um, but Sunny likes to be up really high. This is like exact same height as the window, kinda sorta. Um, Okay, so you have got yourself some food, my friend. It might be a good time for you to go take care of the child. Oh wait, is that- didn't I have an amethyst somewhere? I don't know where it went. Okay, she's scratching her tree. I know you can't tell, but if you look closely you might see movement in this corner. <laughs> she might come back. We'll be on the lookout for when she does. Cause she's still in here. This is the problem. She doesn't- oh my god, she's back. <laughs> they don't sit still. <laughs> she doesn't sit still. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Strawberry, thank you for the two months. Um, but yeah, this is a good, um, this is a good height for Snap. Cause Snap cannot get up that high onto trees anymore these days. Yeah, I know I had an amethyst somewhere. I must- okay. I don't even know where she went. <laughs> Con again. <laughs> She's very busy. She's very busy. <laughs> it might be in my inventory. I could just make another one, I guess, but um, what I would really like to do is continue the upgrade on this so we can get into space. Yeah, Sunny's a busy lady. I, it's not in the infant room. I had previously put it on this shelf and it's not there right now. I guess I might have put it in here, but probably not because they wouldn't need it. And it's not in here, so I don't know. I don't know. Why are we going to space? Because we want to get more crystals. I'm trying to get our level up to number 10. 
Mm, no. <laughs> I get a call about charity. I'm sorry, not today. It's not on the charging plate. No, I checked there first. We've got, um, that's Simonite. These aren't the amethysts that I thought they were. All right, what do we got? B student, C student, B student. There you go. You guys are not really doing that well, I must say. Um, care to come watch TV? You actually will probably get your grade up tomorrow just anyway, so maybe I'll have you come help your sibling. You could be the one to feed it. And that could be good. Maybe one of the kids took it. That's true. Let me look. No. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Her name is Sunny, like like the sun in the sky, Holly. Um, I call her Tiny more often than that, though. Um, so she's her her name is Tiny. I, my two cats, Tiny and Shrimp. Um, is uh, kind of what's going on. So. <laughs> okay. Once you get this leveled up, that'll be great. You're level eight now, that's pretty good. You have your fun up, so you can go work on a school project again. Your fun is getting there. I'll make you go work on it now anyway. You have fed the baby. Put the kid down. What's the third kitten's name? The other kitten that we found was Sam. Uh, their mom who we found is Frankie, and my other cat is Snap, but Snap goes by Worm. A lot of the time. So my three cats are shrimp, tiny, and worm. <laughs> no, that isn't the amethyst either. The amethyst is lost. I don't know what happened to it, but I'll have to make a new one. It's fine. We can make a new one. It's not a problem to make another. Now that we have a teen to help us, it's fine. Um, anyway. <laughs> Your dog, Layla, goes by Bug. Oh, we call Sunny Bug, too. That's so cute. Oh, maybe it's in our household inventory. Let's check that as well. No? Oh. I do have all that, though. <laughs> so that'll help us. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, love and strawberry. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Maybe someone took it without us realizing. Or maybe it's just somewhere else in the house and I haven't seen it. It might turn up, but if it doesn't, then that's fine. Does Shrimpy have any nicknames? Um, he gets called Shrimpy most of the time. He doesn't really get called chaotic names. I think it's because his name is chaotic enough for me as it is. So he doesn't really get called anything. I call him Buddy, I guess. But mostly he just gets called Stink- or <laughs> sorry, someone in chat said Stinky. Mostly he just gets called Shrimpy. Um, but... I don't know. I know I'm sorry, that's mean of me, but... He's chaotic enough as it is. All right, good job, kids. Um, get rid of those things. We'll keep triple speeding until we can get the kid aged up. Not bad. My, my parents are currently dog-sitting a puppy, which is kind of exciting. Um, their friend, who always dog-sits for us, um, has a puppy. And my parents are watching it for a couple days um, while she's, um, while they're, uh, hold on, let me try and send you, I'll show you a picture. I'm gonna send it to myself on Discord so I can show you. Um, but yeah, they're babysitting a puppy. And my parents' other dogs are having the time of their lives playing with this puppy. They are having so much fun. Like, the, the dogs are thriving right now because of the dog being there. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull it up so you can see her. Her name is Adele. Look at this dog. Isn't that so cute? I think Adele is a beautiful name for a dog as well. Um, I don't know how old she is. I'd have to ask. I haven't met it yet. I've been too busy. Um, but <laughs> there's a, a little baby Roddy at their house. <laughs> we haven't been around a puppy in so long. Thought Shanna was me. No, that's my sister. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, she's, um, she's very, very cute. Puppies are just so cute. Yeah, and isn't Adele a pretty name? 
I just love it. But yeah, the, the other dogs are having the time of their lives. They're having so much fun playing with puppy. They clearly need a puppy. My parents do not need a puppy. <laughs> my parents have three dogs. Um, they, my dad, and I, look, I'm sorry to like air out my dad's business, but um, my dad, uh, I think he's at the current moment a little bit traumatized by our dogs all being old. We have three elderly dogs right now um, who are dealing with a lot of health problems and stuff. And he keeps saying that he's never getting another dog, um, which I don't think is true. I really find it hard to believe that he won't get another dog in the future because my dad has had dogs his entire life. Like you have three dogs right now, you're not gonna go back to having zero. It's just not gonna happen, dad. We know the truth. But um, yeah, his, his current outlook is I'm never getting a dog again. Um, and I don't blame him. We're in a rough time right now. <laughs> this season of life is not ideal, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's, I don't know if they have any interest in getting a puppy. <laughs> so <laughs> he's like um, preparing for a lot of pain, I guess, but I understand that. I understand where he's coming from. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not to get too morbid, but I think that I would feel that way about a cat if I didn't already find a bunch of cats in a sewer, like about Snap. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to like, I can't imagine like her being gone and then getting another cat, but obviously I already have cats, so it's fine. But yeah, I don't know, I relate to that, I guess. Um, but I could never not have pets in the house. Like there's just no way. Um, but you know, sometimes you need a little bit of time <laughs> in between, I guess. Um, so, is Snap healthy? Um, I'm gonna say for an almost 16 year old cat, yeah, decently so, <laughs> is what I'll say. I was literally at the vet today with her because she has a weird lump on her leg. Um, the vet didn't seem extremely worried about it, but she was a little worried about it. So we're waiting for the pathologist to look at the, the like sample they took from it. Um, but she also has kidney disease, so there's that. But the vets always say to me that Snap does not look as old as she is. Like, they were both today talking about how, like, they she always looks so much younger than she is to them. Which is a huge relief to me. Like, keep it up, Snappy. <laughs> keep looking fresh-faced like that. Whenever people meet her in person, they're like, wow, she looks so young. No. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, but I'm glad you think that. That's fantastic news. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> um, young at heart. Keep it up. <laughs> Lynn, thank you for the six months. Um, Seb, tell us your skincare routine. <laughs> no, she's, um, she's doing well, though. She did a really good job at the vet. She did extremely embarrass me. Let me see if I can show you this, or if there's, like, I might have to try and crop it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, um, because there's, like, hold on. I can, I think that I can show you a little bit of this picture as long as I block parts of it. Um, cause I don't want you guys to like have, I don't, not to, not to like leak the vet's name, you know? Um, here, hold on. I think I can show you it like this. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> so she did extremely well, um, at the vet. She, she usually does. Like she'll let them like examine her and stuff. Um, and she's very gentle and like, they always rave about how good she does at the vet. Then they take her back because she had to get her blood taken and like they had to like, um, get the sample from her like cyst or whatever lump is on her leg. Um, I don't know what it is. But then when she came back from getting the samples taken, she was not pleased. She was not pleased. So she went and hid behind their computer. Um, and then when they came back in to like tell us what the vet saw on the slides that she took, like under the microscope, she was like, where's the cat? And I was like, behind the monitor. <laughs> she is hiding, <laughs> so I get it though. I understand. It must have been really uncomfortable and upsetting, so I would have wanted to hide too, and there's like nowhere to hide in that room. I'm sure a lot of people's cats go up there and hide behind the monitors. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was doing really well up until that point. <laughs> up until the point where um, they uh, had to take the samples from her, then she was not doing so great. She also, she's not the best at, um, and she's not as confident, I guess, with like tall jumps, like jumping onto the counter. So she kept like putting her paws up on the cabinet and yelling. 
and like stepping down and like gearing up to jump and then and then be like no nah, i can't do it and then she put her paws up and like yell <laughs> and then like gear up to jump but then she went for it and the thing is i wasn't gonna help her because i knew she wanted to go behind the computer and i like i was like how am i supposed to get you out back again from behind the computer if you go behind the computer because i don't want to touch their computer you know so this is the one time i won't help you snap i'm not helping you but then she went up there on her own so <laughs> but i didn't want to have to like you know i ended up having to move the monitor to take her away as well they didn't seem like they minded they like had me pay and then they're like okay bye you can go now and then she was still behind the monitor so i was like okay <laughs> and then i had to move the monitor to get her out and i felt really weird about it because i like you don't want to touch somebody else's computer you know um oh my god i fed the kid i've decided i did um but i'm sure it happens all the time I'm sure it happens all the time. Um, okay, you can go to sleep too. And then everyone off to bed now. Oh, it's Daddy Winter. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh. Clifford Benson. Yeah, I think everyone, I think that this might be the next baby daddy. I don't know, just an idea. <laughs> you didn't want to touch your husband's computer. No, more of that was just that I didn't want to mess up his OBS specifically. Because I was using his stream scenes and I didn't want to like move them around because then he had to put them back and that would be annoying. Um, but yeah, you don't want to, like, touch somebody else's PC. Um. Oh! Oh, I- Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, he's not interested in me. No, you've got the right idea, though. You really have the right idea. You don't want to be interested in me. I'm a problem. So, <laughs> Veronica, and Air, and Elisa, and Selfell, and Songbird, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, I'll send my sim back inside and then we can get some food and then go to bed. Um. Okay. Lyrical amplifier karaoke machine? Oh, that's cool. Not bad. Oh, wait, I was gonna try and repair that. Oh, I'm silly for that. I should have stayed and repaired it. What a message! Christine goes, you know what? Gay Santa is a vibe. <laughs> Things without context. I agree though. There's something better about it this way. Do you know what I mean? It's like preferable. Okay, I think I'm gonna sell the karaoke machine though. I don't want it. Okay, um, you go to bed. We'll put everybody to sleep. And then in the morning, we are in our second trimester so in the morning we'll have to go find the next baby person um and that'll be good fun yeah the ac stuff went fine um the the new ac is installed we paid them a million dollars for it <laughs> they put the new thermostat in um it was nice and cool in the house last night which was really fun um so yeah that was it's good the new ac is is a. Uh, Honestly, I would consider this to be one of the more stressful things I've ever had to buy in my life, but I think in the long run will be one of the better things I've ever bought. So it's worth it. It's just that like at this current moment, I'm feeling a bit sick over the price, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, but I think long term, this is, this is well worth it, <laughs> so. You know, and I got a new thermostat. They gave me a fancy smart thermostat for free. Um, so it, it was good. It was good. Um, yeah, like our power bill will be better. Um, it's just, it's better. I'm not really that much to cancel it out. Oh my god, city planner, please! <laughs> Can I just say, I love your YouTube videos. Thank you for gifting those subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really, really like your YouTube videos. <laughs> I am not good at City Skylines, but I love watching people who are. So thank you for gifting those subs. <laughs> that is very kind of you. Um, 
Okay, let me see about clearing this because it's being kind of laggy. See if that helps us and we'll save too real quick. Um, <laughs> did Kayla just get noticed? Stop, you guys are embarrassing me. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Nina, Rebecca, thank you both for the resubs too. I appreciate that. Play it cool. Come on. <laughs> you think you're not good at city skylines either. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I really like, I like watching content of City Skylines. It's like my favorite game to watch other people play. Um, I don't think that I'm um, the, the best, <laughs> you know? I'm not the best, but I'll watch other people do it. And they're good at it, so. <laughs> okay, you are finally fully rested. Let me see if we can speed run trying to fix our needs. Oh, and then you can repair that too. I'm trying to work on like a bunch of, oh my God, never mind. Oh, maybe we still can. I was gonna say I'm trying to work on repairing stuff to get the handsiness skill up. She doesn't have a shirt on. I'm trying to get our handsiness skill up so that we can get into the, um, the secret lot in Oasis Springs. So. Simsy thinks she's not good at city skylines. Well, have you seen me play? Although, the one save that we played on stream that I had all those issues in, it turned out the save was bugs and it wasn't my fault. So maybe I'm not as bad as I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, Jess, thank you for gifting that sub to City Planner Plays. That's very kind of you. Um, and Cam, thank you for the nine month resub too. Okay. Okay. Where's the clip of poop lake? Yeah, I did flood a poop lake once. That's unrelated. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, you're making me want to play City Skylines again. This is dangerous, you guys, because the Stardew Valley update is coming out on Tuesday. So we have, we already have a new obsession lined up. <laughs> we only have a couple days left until our new obsession begins. We need to be careful. <laughs> we can't be, we need to have one fascination at a time. <laughs> We can play cities again after that, though. Once we get, um, through the new Stardew update stuff, probably. Um, I'm really excited about the Stardew Valley update, though. I, I've been thinking about it, like, non-stop. And I'm not kidding. Okay, you better get your grade up today, kid. What's wrong with you? You need to be fed. Okay. And then... You come use the bathroom... You forgot about the Stardew update? Oh yeah, this is fun then. Um, this is very fun that you get to look forward to that one. Um, would you care to come harvest all of this? Maybe I'll get a good crystal. I don't even see which ones they are. Was it like just one? Ugh, boring, diamond, simonite. Yeah, none of those are the ones that I'm looking for. How many crystals do we have now? Wait. 12 out of 20. We're looking for a couple of the most rare ones. We want plum bite. That's why I'm trying to get to space, truth be told, because I think I might be able to find some up there. All right, put the kid down after this. I'll start there. Do I have any tips against Stardew burnout? Do I? Um, I'm not the best with that because people ask me about tips about like game burnout a lot. And I just get obsessed with things, you know? So I'm not, uh, I feel like I don't experience that in the same way as most others. Cause I become really um, obsessed. <laughs> I guess if you're feeling burnout with one game, I, I always say to play a challenge in The Sims and that helps to fix it with The Sims. But with Stardew, um, maybe you could try and do like a fresh save. Swap out, maybe try and do like the JoJo route instead if you don't usually do it or something. Or pick a different game to obsess over, you know? All good options. Okay, let me see how the kid is doing, because I, I want to get the... Oh. Oh wait, you already have that milestone. Oh, we just need to talk to it. And then I can age it up. We're almost there. Um, would you like to... Friendly small talk. It's so weird. You have to like literally do small talk to the baby until it's able to speak and then I can age it up. Friendly small talk. 
friendly, small talk. Okay. Well, we'll start there. How are you kids doing now? Oh, you're not gonna have enough time to do as much small talk as I queued up. That's fine. So, baby, how's the weather? <laughs> okay. Well, it didn't work. I didn't get all the skills that I needed. Alright. Study hard, study hard. I think I forgot to have them study hard yesterday, so I kind of ruined our own life with that one. Okay. Friendly. Nope, sorry, wrong button again. Friendly, small talk. Okay. Oh my god. It is important to talk to your children, yes? <laughs> I think we can all agree. The requirements that I play by with aging up the infants in this challenge are to have two milestones in every category, but I usually ignore the, um, the life one. So I try and get two in all of the other categories. Um, cause this one, like, you get a milestone for being born, like, it doesn't matter. So I usually just skip that and do two in every other category. <laughs> so what do you do for work? <laughs> That's a great question. We're talking to baby about it right now. We'll find out. We're looking for the coup milestone. It doesn't like talking to me. What are you talking about unpleasant conversation? I'm, I mean that. What do you mean, unpleasant? How can you possibly be self-aware enough to feel that way? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, these cribs, these are not CC. You can upgrade them to add the, the, the mobiles to the cribs. Um, if you have the handiness skill, you can use it. So that just works in the base game. Um, yeah, that's true, Christine, uh, as Christine says. Speaking to babies like they are normal humans helps with speech development, yes? But, um, it's not working for my sim. <laughs> it's not making a difference with this baby. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Friendly, small talk. Oh my god, just let me age you up. Now it's mad? Oh, because it's tired. Oh my god. I still can't age you up! You're really slowing me down. Wait, someone died but doesn't say who. I'm gonna let you know that Blank has passed away. Who's Blank? What does that even mean? Okay. Um, well, we need to find another person to have kids with. Um, I guess we talked about, like, oh, maybe it's the flower bunny. It could be the flower bunny. That's possible. Um, it's probably an old age thing from the flower bunny, because usually neighborhood stories happens in the middle of the night, so it wouldn't be neighborhood stories. Um... You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm actually gonna go to like a random bar and um, I wanna see if we can meet, maybe I'll go to the gym, just like a random townie that we can have as the next kid. Um, do I not wanna do a vampire? We talked about a mermaid, but I don't know if there are any mermaids right now and it'll be easier to just get a random one have with an occult sim. We just had we just had a vampire and then two spellcaster babies in a row, pretty much. Um so we we've been there. I placed in my save some people that you all made. Anna. Whoa, horse trainer? <gasps> Let's pick that one. That seems good to me. And you're the gym trainer. Yeah, we can use the club system to look for mermaids if we want to, but I might just pick a random one to be quicker. <laughs> this sim's a horse lover. 
No legs. No beam. Are you surprised? <laughs> okay, let's go back home. We'll bring him with us because we had double skill gain there. Or double relationship gain, sorry. Um, Kristen, Olivia, MJ, Lord, thank you for the subs. Let's head back. Mm. That would be him. Oh, we have good compatibility as well. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Okay. So we'll just get this organized so that when the baby comes, we'll be ready. Um, and then I'll try and talk to our existing baby a bit more. Are any of the starting townies still alive? I don't think so, because I had- I killed all of the vampires already. So I don't think that there are any originals that remain at this point. Um, because they would have all died of old age, like, long ago. Okay. First kiss. Is that moving too fast, maybe? It might be. Nope, it's not. <laughs> Try for baby. Whoa, probably not that just yet. <laughs> I'll befriend him a little bit more. Okay. Oh, maybe from like the newer packs, I guess, there might be people that are still alive. Because those are like the four rent ones. But even then, the four rent ones might be dead too at this point. I'm not sure. Okay, I'll take a selfie with him so I can get it for my stuff. Thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. How many generations passed since I started? Well, we only have the one Sim. She's had every single one of the kids because Sims don't age when they're pregnant. Um, so it's really easy to keep playing. She only literally just became an adult and she's like, she's probably never going to die. Like she's probably going to keep having kids um, for the rest of the challenge. Um, what's your name again? Can I, Bernard? Okay. Um, so we, we have that going for us. <laughs> um, but a lot of our original children are dead. Wait, I'm confused. Yes, okay, we haven't had this baby yet, sorry. I was like, I lost track of the order for a second there. Um, oh, we've got grandkids. We've had quite a few grandkids, actually. Um, we did just get some random crystals. I got some seed packets. The toys that we get in the mail, like birthday presents, that's kind of how we pay for everything these days. See, I got like 11,000 from that just then. Um, super efficient infant care. Go try that. All right, here we go. Grades up? Yes. All right, we've got two B students and we have a high school A student, so I can kick out this one. I believe that we have level 10 parenting. I'm pretty sure at least, but I could be wrong about that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Are you done? How has adding crystals enhanced the challenge for me? That's a good question. I mean, oh, I'm valedictorian. Oh my god, I hate you. Um, sorry. <laughs> we haven't actually done that much with crystals that has been greatly benefiting us yet. Um, I need to make another one once I get this kid aged up. Half the problem is that, um, I'm- I have to keep, like, trying to, um, I can't click on the kid. We have to keep working on talking to the kids and, like, aging up the infants. Which kind of slows down our side quest. I'm sorry for yawning. Um, but our side quest right now is to try and get the, um, the needs cheating one. So, once we get that, we'll be, like, all set. Um, but we've been, like, slowly working on building up skills so we get more crystals and we grew a crystal tree to help make it easier. I'm trying to build this rocket ship so I can go to space and, um, try and get more crystals in space. So it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, we have, uh, quite a few max skills, though. Um, okay, you're crying. You need to calm down. It's really okay. You add me some birthday candles back to this, please. Um, I'm gonna actually let you deal with the baby, and I'm gonna let your mother work on this. Because I would prefer if someone else talked to the kid. 
Put it down. Okay. Because then we can build our skills. Friendly, small talk. I'm really having a hard time getting this final one. I don't usually have this much trouble with the... With the stuff. Alright, you do that. You go work on your thingy. These two kids, I want to try and max these two. Oh, I need to buy more. Yeah, Plum Bite is one that gets their needs up. So, we're trying to get Plum Bite at the minute. That's kind of our our current uh, main side quest. And I wouldn't even call it a side quest either, actually. Because we've been working on it so much that it's become like a main quest. <laughs> okay, you start working carefully. You start working carefully. Maybe I'll buy some more. Yeah, I, you know what, in the first two saves that I played this in, you guys saw because I made videos on it, but I got Plum Bite so quickly in the other two saves that I played. <laughs> it was like so easy and I was like, wow, this is OP. Like, we get it so fast, it's so easy to get Plum Bite. And now in this one, it's not been easy. <laughs> I've also been very distracted. Um, we're like working on so many things at once, so you can't focus on it completely, but um, you get Plum Bite so easily. Okay, where, where? Have you gotten Plum Bite easily? Serious question, help us. What's been, what's been easy about the Plum Bite for you? Where have you been getting it? Um, so maybe we can try and look there. From the tree, really? Um, I found an Oasis Springs, multiple trees. Yeah, see, the tree's like kind of the obvious answer from the gallery. <laughs> I got mine in Oasis Springs, um, and I got another one in, um, Realm of Magic's world before. So. Science lab, yeah. We could get- we could join the scientist career and, like, go to work as a scientist just to get Plum Bite. And then leave. <laughs> Which might also be an idea. I'm currently trying to go to space, though. So that's our plan first. Playing as a scientist, you got five at the lab. Oh my God. That's so good. Why are you not ready to age up yet? You're very annoying. Little child. Um, small talk, talk. Small talk, talk. Okay. See how that goes. Um. Okay, um, just age up the baby, it's okay, you think so? That sounds bad. Um, you wanna smile at Levi? Yes, no, why not? I don't understand why we're having such a hard time, I don't normally have as many issues with it. Install landing computer, try that. How close are they? It's just the one, we're missing one, uh, like, speaking milestone. That's all. And I don't understand why it's not popping up. Usually this one shows up, like, on its own. Maybe I should try more, like... I don't really know much about how this works, like... Maybe I can read you a book. See if that helps you. No job. See if you learn anything from that. Extra credit complete? Okay, you can take showers then. You can use the bathroom. Try having the baby babble instead. <laughs> you know what else we could do? Oh my god, you guys, the baby's got the milestone. I just saw it. Oh, let's age it up now. <laughs> That's Christine's idea, not mine. I'm no liar. Try blowing raspberries. Yeah, that's what I- Oh, did you get it? Roll over to tummy! Oh my god, I'm aging it up. I actually don't care. I don't care. I'm not accepting comments at this time on this. We've got extra milestones, so therefore, um, it's okay. Because I got extra ones. Look, I'll show you. I might not have- that one. But look how many extras I got. So there. It counts. <laughs> it 
It counts. Uh, Nat and Kristen and here we go with Jen. Thank you for the subs. We got a bonus trait, happy infant. And we're independent. Good job, kid. That's the spirit. All right, add birthday candles. We'll put that back. You are exhausted now. You found the island in Windenburg to be a good place to find crystals. Oh, that's actually a helpful pro tip. Should we go out and like try and crystal hunt a little bit overnight? Cause we can go out to the island in Windenburg and try and do that for a bit. See what we get. Cause the kids will be sleeping. So, um, I guess I'll come to the empty lot. Leaving the babies for a while is good. Usually bring a bicycle because it's so huge. Oh, maybe I should have brought a bicycle. You're probably right about that. I've always loved this part of Windenburg. Yeah, it's one of my favorite parts. I, I really love Windenburg. I think it's one of my favorite worlds in all of The Sims 4. The amethyst on the toddler's nightstand. I remember that now. You're so right. I did do that. Oh my god, I can't see anything. I put it on the toddler's nightstand. You're you're correct. I did do that. Rose is afraid of fire. I can't fish because it's too cold. Um, everybody, we're in a bit of a pickle. I don't know if coming here at nighttime in the snowstorm was a good idea. Because I can't... We have to wait for them to spawn anyway. Well, okay. Here's what we'll do. I'll, like, make a snow angel or two while I wait for them to spawn. And then, yeah, it's, it's blizzarding. Um. This is not so good. I would say. We might want to come back when the weather's a bit better. I mean, I can keep triple speeding until we find... Here's one. That's not a crystal, though. It's metal. We just kind of go around the edges and see what you can find. That's something, but not a crystal. What was that? Fosanite, Punium, and Pyrite. Okay. <laughs> oh, now I'm too uncomfortable. Am I in labor? Oh my god. I'm in the I'm in a blizzard and I'm in labor. <laughs> Live press look at the bright side by accident. <laughs> okay, we'll have to come back to this. <laughs> that was really bad actually. <laughs> yeah, that's that's bad timing. That's really bad timing. Okay, well, let me pull up the spreadsheet. <laughs> so we always randomize the um, the baby's names off of our little, where's my button? Off of our randomizer. 1168. Oh, wrong page. 1168 is the one that we are looking for. 1168 Butternut. Okay. Well, that's officially 70 babies. Let me change my stream title to say 70. Oh my god, we're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. This feels- that's a very nice number. Butternut. Maybe I'll put squash, just because it's fun. We'll go home with Rosa. We have to get pregnant again now. Um... The fact that you have spreadsheets for this- Listen, listen! If you were me, you have a spreadsheet too. It's just helpful. It answers everybody's questions. It keeps track of things. Like, it's very useful to have a spreadsheet. Yeah, we have a lot of food names in the house, don't we? We really do. All right. How's everybody doing? Really bad. I'm going to deal with the older kid in a minute. Oh, you guys are like fully rested. I'll let you sleep in a little bit more though. Um, I want to have you, you can use the bathroom and then I'll have you age up the baby. 
Oh my god, you can eat. Um, but I say that because I want you to get pregnant with the next baby. I don't think I can invite over this person. They're probably gonna say no. Yeah, you're asleep. I guess that's fine. You have spreadsheets for your groceries even? See, it's just a helpful way to organize things. And when you're streaming with a challenge like this, it I mean, like, I think people that play with this might have good luck using a spreadsheet just anyway. Um, but especially if you're, like, streaming it. Because people ask all the time, like, oh, how many kids do you have? What are all the dad's names? Like, you know, do you have any grandkids? And that way we have a link that we can put in the chat for everybody and they can just easily, oh, intense. They can easily access it and, like, answer all their questions straight away. Which is a huge help. So, okay. Now I've got another baby already. This guy has officially aged up, but I'm gonna let him be here in the house for a bit longer. Oh my god. Just for the sake of helping me, is what I was gonna say. Um, wow, that kind of scared me. <laughs> but he doesn't need to go out, and we can move him out because he already aged up, so... We're kind of good there. All right. Would you care to queue up some tummy time interactions? So I can have some help? Friendly activities, tummy time. Okay, that's good. Um, you, my dear, might want to sleep a little bit longer too. That's where the amethyst went. It's drained though. So that's my bad. Um, we need to make some more amethyst. Maybe I'll do that today after we get pregnant. Um, we can make some for all of the rooms. Um, Waffle, thank you for the sub, by the way. I really appreciate that. Yeah, we're on normal lifespan. Um, but my sim, they don't age while they're pregnant. So she lives kind of a lot longer than you would expect on normal lifespan, I guess you could say. <laughs> Um, they live for kind of a while. Alright, you kids are doing pretty well. Take care of your needs. Um, okay. You're taking care of that one. Oh! Oh my god! Look, I got a medal! Finally! Romantium. Now give me the good stuff. I don't think any there's any other spots that have been struck that have given me anything good. Okay, well that's fine. Um, do you want to call up that guy again? Where did that strike? It might also take a bit for it to spawn. Sometimes it waits until like overnight for it to spawn, so. Yeah, Romantium is rare. That was one of the rare ones. I can show you. Because we just, oh, that's not what I'm trying to click on. Sorry. Um, Romantium, do you not, I put it in your inventory. Do you not see it there? Does it not count as you? What the heck? Whatever, I don't care. Um, I don't care. Okay, you call up um, that guy so we can have kids. You, the baby is just laying there. You need to keep working on it, sorry. Continue with the tummy time. I gotta get through this. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, DJ and Waffle, thank you both for the resubs. I really appreciate that. Um, and we'll get this person called up. Do you want to figure paint until he gets here? Get a little bit more money. Need to place it back on the lot and then click on claim for its account. Oh, do you think so? We can try that, I don't mind. We'll see how it goes. I don't really understand that. I think that's like kind of ridiculous because if it's in my inventory, I have it. But whatever, game, that's fine. Um, okay. More choices. Well, I got it now. <laughs> Physical intimacy, try for baby. And then I'll strike him with lightning. Uh-oh, lag, 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 lag. Try for baby. Okay. I may quick save. 
Because yikes. <laughs> Mini, Clayton, Leo, thank you all for the resubs. I appreciate that. Oh my. How do you claim it? It just had a, it, it claim was like one of the interactions on it on the floor. So, it was just right there. Whenever my game gets laggy, you save your game. Do you really? That's the right idea though. <laughs> Protect yourself, you know? If my game's lagging, take that as a sign to also save yours. <laughs> um, okay, this is- oh my god. Jeez. Okay. Um, what was his name again? His name is- can I- Bernard, okay. I will name this- that will be number 71. I think. Cause this one's number 70? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Didn't know I put selfies with the graves. Yeah, I quite like it. Um, I think it's fun to have the selfies in front of the graves. So I like to keep them. Keep track of like who has been around, you know? Okay, did you get pregnant? Let's find out. Yes. Okay, so step one will be for you to take a pregnancy test. Roll over to back, Milestone! There you go. Okay, now I can bring the guy outside. And I'll crush him. Oh, maybe I should wait a little bit to crush him, though, because there's ads playing and we don't want anybody to miss them. So that's a good point. Still nothing good. Ugh. I'll kill him in a minute. Like, 20 seconds, then we can kill him. <laughs> Oh, that'll be fine. I'll bring him outside for it and everything. You can like video games. I'm not joining you on a club gathering though. Um, Loves wake up time. Oh, that's pretty useful. Would you care to go sliding a bunch? Maybe talk to the bear a bunch? See if we can get your fun fixed. Okay. And you... Probably don't need to do anything else. Oh god. <laughs> he can live a few more hours. No, actually, um, our time has come, so... The ads are gone. We can bring this person out. Um, are ads always being played for someone? No, not always. Uh, the ads play about every 30 minutes. Um, some people will get ads around every 30 minutes. And uh, the idea of that is that that way we can kind of keep track of it as opposed to Twitch giving out random pre-rolls. We, we know that they run around every 30 minutes this way. Okay, sim... Oh. I was trying to press sim commands. I pressed modify and cas. I did not mean to. And obviously if you're subbed, you won't get ads on my stream. Um, Twitch will play ads. Hello. No matter what you do, Twitch will play ads. <laughs> um, so we, we like run them every 30 minutes on kind of a schedule because then it's like more predictable, so. Um, no, I can't pick the ads that play, nor can I pick who gets them. Um, I don't have control over that sort of stuff. No one does on YouTube either, no one does. They're gonna get their money, so they'll advertise what they want. <laughs> um, Malias, thank you for the 13 months, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, do Prime members get less ads? No. Back in the day, like years ago, if you had Prime, you got no ads anywhere on Twitch. But they have since really switched that one up. <laughs> um, now, uh, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> Um, but that was, that was the case back in the day. I'm gonna put him in my household just to make things easier, because he's, like, trying to get away from me, so I can't kill him. Kill Sim. Death by lightning. Oh, no! Oh, I ruined it! Oh, to be honest, I don't care. I'm not dealing with this right now. It's because he was walking off my lot, I think. I should have, um brought him into my lot more, but immediate ghost, whatever, it's dead. I'll get a better lightning strike next time. At least nobody's sad now. 
So there's that. <laughs> We do have that going for us. Would you like to, honestly, I could probably have you start cutting me some extra gemstones. I can make you cut me some more amethyst. Because your mom's busy. So maybe you could do it. While you're around. Imagine she gets struck by lightning while she's out there. That would be really bad. Okay, and you have... Level three. Oh, you can stop sliding now. Wait, 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 wait. You're being kind of glitched. Hold on. Level four. Whoa. Um. Okay. First blowout milestone unlocked. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we can deal with that too. Come here. Give bubble bath to butternut. Okay. Oh my, um, accept the help. I think we're like this close to level 10. Yeah, we are. Once we get level 10, we can add the upgrade that I've been hoping for and then we can go to space. You sell on Prime and have no ads? No, no, you misunderstand, you misunderstand. Prime subs are subs. Subs don't get ads. What we mean is previously, anyone that just paid for Amazon Prime and just paid Amazon didn't get ads on Twitch. If you subscribe with Prime, um, then you're a sub and you don't get ads on my stream, um, but not everywhere across Twitch, just here. Why is it giving me all these pop-ups? I realize I maxed the rocket science skill, but it like walked through all the other ones I have maxed too. Um, yeah, that's what that means. Um, don't get it everywhere. Just some, just here if you're a prime sub. Um, Okay, would you care to bottle feed that one too? Bucky, Chloe, Ange, thank you for the subs. Oh, sorry, I yawned again. Okay. Um, well, I guess as soon as you finish this stupid upgrade, which I probably should have picked a slower or a faster upgrade, I mean, we'll be able to do the last upgrade and then we can go to space. In space, you can get a bunch of crystals. <gasps> Tulip died? Oh no, of old age though. So I didn't do anything wrong. Just let it be known, okay? Well, let's cross that one off. Next, <laughs> let's pick the next rat name. So the next rat is going to be called, number 1029. The next rat shall be Mad Maddie May. That might be somebody's username. It, oh, that has to be green because they're a rat. Sorry. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> um, purchase rodent. Mad Maddie May. Nice. Okay. That's all set up. You kids are finally home from school. A student. A student. Oh my god, we can get them both aged up. That's really good. We'll have two teens to help us this weekend. Um, all right, let's blow out the candles, shall we? Come on. Is Ratatouille on the list? Well, the name, it's like a list of baby names. So I, I sort of doubt that anybody suggested Ratatouille. They didn't really know that I was going to be naming my rats after them. I don't think. Oh, I like your makeup. Um, I don't think they were prepared for us to be naming the rats after them when we started this, you know? Um, so, I think that kind of complicates things. Alright, shrimp is lactose intolerant, apparently. Um, you need to get- have I been using the wrong- I need the chemical reaction volcanoes, not these ones. I always put the wrong ones down and then realize it later. The chemical reaction volcanoes are better because the volcanoes get you logic skills so the children gain logic as children. Which is much preferable to gaining nothing as children, except children's skills. Okay. Um... Would you care to start working carefully? I'm sorry to like force you all to go get started like straight away, but 
It's time you get started straight away. <laughs> okay. Um, this one's gonna need to go to bed now. I guess you could put the baby to sleep. And then maybe I'll- oh, hello. What do you need? Oh, you're very close to aging up. Oh, that's really good. Okay, let me have this one play inside the tent. Just a couple times, then we should age this one up. Their birthday gifts are school projects, yeah. Um, okay, let me get the candles back on this quick before we lose track. Whoa! Oh my god, the storm keeps coming. She might get struck by lightning, but she's pregnant, so we should be okay. <laughs> Shrimp is not a spellcaster! I forgot about that. Um, she only just got pregnant, so we are second trimester in nine hours, yeah. Barely pregnant right now. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave this, uh, this guy's an adult already, but I'm gonna leave him here just a little bit longer so he can help us with the kids. Um, six hours until fully charged. Susie? Sure, whatever. Look how long this one takes. I regret it. Well, we can't go to space while pregnant. Oh, dear. Can I visit the space lot? Or no? I'm stressed out by this, I'm not gonna lie. If we can't visit the space lot, I guess we could have one of the teens do it. And that would be fine. Um, we could have them go and just do the collecting for us. But we do have to have a teen in the household for that to work. Oh, imagination level five. Oh my god, you see how fast that went up? Yeah, okay, let's get your brother to age you up now. <laughs> um, help blow out candles for this baby. This is the perks of the micro home. We grow up so quickly. Uh, I want to go to the space lot because I want to collect crystals. <laughs> um, yeah, she would get more gems because she's a higher level, but what I'm thinking is if we bring one of the teens and then we have them, like, bring her to the lot, she should be able to come too. And that would be really helpful. So we should be able to do both at once that way. I think. Recycling? Oh, good. Recycling is good, kid. Keep it up. All right, grab a serving, take a shower, go to sleep. Oh, well, your siblings could probably come go to sleep, too. We can all work on the rest of it more in the morning. I hate this upgrade. It takes too long. Too long. Um, Cal plan, I'll be live for probably another hour and a half um, is kind of the plan. So, loud lady Polar is about to hear the subs. No, that's the perk of it, Chloe. If you put candles on the cake and then put it in the fridge, they don't eat the cake. So you can just keep it and not have to keep redoing it over and over again. Um, so if I were you and you're playing a challenge like this where you have loads of kids and you have to keep making cakes to age them up, if you put candles on it really fast, you can save it in the fridge, they won't eat it. And you can just keep using the same one again. You just have to like beat them to it. Like you need to like be the first one to get to the cake with the candles before they grab a slice of it autonomously. Sometimes they're quicker than you, but as long as you can be quick, then, you, then you're then you off to a good start. <laughs> it really is kind of a race, yeah. <laughs> it is kind of a race for the, for the cake. Um, oh, actually, you're still awake. You could, oh, you can explore space? That's a huge, no, 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 no. You're not allowed to do that. I was hoping that you could help me add the upgrade, but I guess you can. I'll just let you sleep, because you just take care of the baby in the morning. You use Ravishing's cake mod and don't have to worry? Yeah, fair enough. I don't blame you for that. <laughs> I think that makes perfect sense. Oh my god, it takes forever. How many milestones does it have? Oh, you're actually close to getting all of them. Ooh, hold on. Put the kid here. Go, 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 go. Yeah, in The Sims 3, you could just buy a cake and it was way easier that way, truly. Um, you put your cake in a basement that The Sims can't get to. <laughs> that's, 
that's that's the I mean that works um I've been told that doing the like blow raspberry thing I've been told before that that helps to get the last social one so I'm gonna try it I often have them do small talk but maybe I could do it like every other one See if that gets us the coup milestone. Hurry up! So slow. Brazy, wow, thank you for the subs. It's your birthday! Happy birthday, Vansa! Congratulations. I hope you have the best day. Um, I don't know if it helps doing them from the baby side. The baby can't really do that much. You can, like, watch and smile at, but that's kind of it. Um... Which isn't really that helpful, to be honest. Oh my god, this is ridiculous how long this one takes. I shouldn't have done this. You don't think triple speeding helps, but with my milestones? I mean, no, probably not, but I need triple speed for this. I'm sick and tired of wait wa waiting for it. Um. Oh! Whoa. Okay, are you done? I guess you could just like, what, are you trying to sleep now? Now you're looking at the toys. You need to eat too, so your sibling needs to come help you with that. Play with, comfort, do you wanna feed it? Cool milestone, oh good. See, it talked to itself and got that one. Isn't that annoying? Like, what's up with that? Are you gonna feed the baby? Bottle feed. Whatever. <laughs> We've got that one. Now it just needs to play with play with the toys and then we can age it up. So we're almost there. Is it worth having a crib for the challenge so I can sleep in the playmat? Yeah, it's- I found that it's worth it just because it helps sometimes to use the, like, mobiles to make them fall asleep faster. Um, it's kind of my experience with it, at least. Um, Okay, the kids should be fine now. Put me back down. I'll take care of myself. I don't use it most times, but sometimes. Um, put me down! Put me down! Put me down! <laughs> Lucy, Fizzy Mouse, Kaylee, and Abby, and Freezy, thank you for the resubs. Um, okay, now go away. I'm gonna look at my toys, thank you very much. Okay, you need to finish sleeping, because you didn't, and then you can shower. You're gonna get some food. You're asleep again. Oh my god. You can't not play with three times speed? Yeah, see, that's kind of how I am too. I can't help it, but like, triple speed when I play The Sims. Play with toys, 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 okay. We're like this close and then you can sleep, I promise. I swear it. Upgrade complete. Okay. Um, would you like to see about... I have so many potions. These are like uh, emotion potions, which we don't really need. I'm kind of wondering... We could get like a... Moodlet solver kind of situation because we have enough points and then maybe I'll just start there. Come on. There we go. All right, needs are fixed. Last upgrade is to install the wormhole generator and I want that so we can go to space. Um, you... She'll come work on this. You can come work on this. You can come work on this. And is the baby ready yet? No, almost. It's gonna fall asleep. And that'll be bad. I don't wanna wait for it to sleep, but I guess we can. Did you think so, Captain? What, just because we were in Dan's office, it was like extra special and fun? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that you had fun with it. 
Um, it was it was very fun for me to do a, a stream from Dan's computer as well. It's just like a funny meme, I guess. Um, and well, I had to because I couldn't be in here, but. <laughs> oh, stop crying. Oh, it fell asleep. Oh, great. We have to wait longer now. Boo. Okay, I'll just triple speed again. <laughs> we'll wait for it. I believe a couple of you should have just finished your projects. Yeah, you did. So you're probably, to be honest, you might be able to get your grade up on your own this week. But, oh, you know what I'm gonna, oh, I didn't mean to do that. No. I wanna go to the magic realm. I'm gonna see if I can get any crystals in there. Because we have a spell caster, we may as well take advantage of this and like go try and get some, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kate, Livy, Spoof, thank you all for the subs. For April Fools, me and Dan should switch places on stream. Dan would have to move around a whole bunch of my things. Cause um, so the problem for with with that is that Dan is like too tall for how I have my camera. Like, if Dan sat here, his head would be, like, up. <laughs> um, so, it's uh, not ideal, I guess, because he's too tall for it. Um, let's buy brooms and crystals, see what we can find. And then he's to move my things, I don't want him to touch it. It wouldn't be hard to put it back, but it's like, I don't want him to touch my things and ruin them. You know? I think they only sell the same things over and over again. And no one's even in there in the potion shop. Oh my. Are there any other crystals that can be harvested? By any chance? There's a frog. Um. I don't really think so. I've spent a lot more time in the magic realm recently. That's fossil, I don't care about that. A lot more time in the magic recently. Um, no, I know you have to wait for them to spawn, but I've I've been here, I've spent a, a decent chunk of time here recently, more than you would think, because we keep coming to check the shops. There's one that spawns like right there, but it's not spawning yet. I will check this shop again too. We have a spellcaster on our baby. Yeah, we just had a kid. We have, we had a kid with multiple spellcasters. We have like a couple in the house right now. Dragon fruit, furium, heavy metal, rutanium, potato, potion of perk purging. We don't really need that. The dragon fruit is good. I'll just go home. I don't really care. Do we have any spells? No, I mean, I guess we could try and convince like one of the spellcaster people to teach us a spell, but I don't really want to spend a lot of time in here because I want to get the babies aged up. Um, yeah, the, the rocks will switch out. Like if it's a fossil right now, it might become a crystal next time. I just don't care to go all the way up to harvest that one because I'm not going to come back here, I don't think. Um, so that that would be the reason of not going to get the fossil, but it's not a bad idea normally. If I tried to get one spell from you, oh my god, you won't even talk to me. I don't like you. Go away. Wombosy? I am personally of the opinion that you should just give it to me anyway. I'm just gonna ask for one, so it better be a good one as well. And then I have to go home, it's been too long. Scrubberoo? That's not the worst one. Let's go home. Am I gonna stream Stardew for update day? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll go to the island again, too. It's hard because I'm really trying to balance how much time we spend outside of the house. 
Like we really, really need to spend most of our time at the house <laughs> because we, we have to like take care of the babies and stuff. So yeah, it's, um, it's hard to balance like how much time we're able to go out and crystal hunt, you know? Um, but it's okay. It's okay. So we head home. We have you, maybe, is the baby ready to, oh my god, I'm gonna say the baby slept more. I don't know why it didn't sleep while I was gone, but it should have. And I'm gonna say that it did, okay? That is my opinion. Are you not actually on the mat? What's going on with you? No, and they fed it. It slept and it got fed. I've decided. Reaching a milestone. Use diaper. Roll over to tummy milestone. Okay. I don't really care about that. I need to get the playing with the toy one. Oh my goodness. Hi, Miv. How are you? <laughs> Good, I hope. Um, are we in our third trimester again yet? Six hours. Okay. We still have time. Put me down! I'm so over it. Okay, now you play with toys, kid. And then we can hopefully age you up any minute. You need to finish installing the wormhole generator. You shall take a shower. And you need to work on your project again. Okay. I'm not seeing any green crystals. Oh, grab milestone. That's what I needed. I can age it up. Okay. I figured it would be quick. I'll make this one do it. Because you just got home. Okay, you just got Twitch first time on my stream. Hey, Mythic, thank you for coming by. Oh, don't order delivery. It's good to see you. Um, we're playing the 100 baby challenge today in honor of the infant update's birthday. <laughs> um, the infant update came out a year ago today. So we're playing the challenge a little. Um, we have 70 babies, it's not too bad. We're doing what we can. Um, Okay, maybe you could harvest the crystals, though, real quick, just because we want to get ahead of it. Can't fertilize again yet. Yeah, no new crystals. That's quite rude, I would say. Don't take a piece. Continue installing. All right, this one's aged up. Oh my goodness, we're off to a good start. It's been a year already. I know, isn't that weird to think about? Um... Time flies. Time flies. Um, the infant update made you never want to play this challenge ever. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that. I really do. Um, I completely get that. You resume the gemstone. We should probably plant some more of the crystal trees. Um, which might be another, another next step. There's just too much going on. I'm very overwhelmed. It's like, there, I have too many things that I'm doing all at once and too many sims that I'm trying to deal with. Oh God. Lavender has passed away. Which one is that? Oh, that would be an old age death. Goodbye. Wait, goodbye. 20 of our children have died. Okay, um, well, they're all gonna be upset about that one, so that's kind of annoying. You're taking care of some needs. I guess you wanna go sleep in there? I guess I'll allow it. You could probably sleep in the bed, though, instead. Yeah, we haven't had a neighborhood stories death in a while, no. It's kind of weird when you think about it like that. All right, you could probably work on another school project, actually. Both these kids that aren't doing anything. Oh, maybe you watch TV. Oh, and that's Giraffe. <laughs> we were all like that. Oh, it's Koa Paul. Oh, Giraffe's not dead yet. It was Koa next. Oh boy. Oh, they're triplets though. So at any time could be Giraffe. <laughs> I thought it was twins, it's triplets. That's even worse. We'll be getting another call in a minute. Prepare yourselves, I guess. 
Yeah, just wait for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> okay, you hate bedtime? Do you know how annoying that is? Go to sleep. Yeah, it is funny how they all die at once, basically. It's kind of chaotic. Oh my goodness. All of this just so I can get this last crystal. I'm gonna make him make me this crystal and also a crystal tree. I wanted an extra amethyst so that I could charge. Um, oh, it's full of things that are charged. Oh, well, that explains a lot. Okay, and then I wanted you to make me the little gemstone seed. Oh, you can't still? Okay, then I'll kick you out of the house. Give that to your sibling. Sell this. All right, this one's young adult and has been for a while, so I'm gonna kick him out. I don't need you anymore. I have other t I have other teens to help me. <laughs> Meg, thank you for the 45 months. And Beck, thank you for the 27 months. Um, what are the rules for counting triplets? Is it affected by the rule where you're not supposed to have the same baby daddy twice? No, that's 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 a different rule. You you can only have like one pregnancy per baby daddy, but if you have twins or triplets, that doesn't that's not a bad thing. Um, you're not like breaking a rule. <laughs> um, I personally would urge against having twins and triplets just because it really slows down the challenge. You would think it would do the opposite, but it's bad. Um, but it's not like you, obviously you can only have the same baby daddy one time, but it's just one pregnancy when you have triplets. So that's fine. You just couldn't, the reason the rule is there is because once you already have the romance bar up, it's easy to woohoo them again. So it's like, it's more difficult to find a different baby daddy. So it makes it part of the challenge, you know? Um, yeah, and Eve, I move all the adults out just into households full of our other kids. We have quite a few households of other kids, obviously with 70 babies. <laughs> um, but I just keep moving them out to live with their siblings that have also moved out. So, um, anyway. Yeah, Allie, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Um, honestly, my theory behind why the Sims team is making some packs free is because, um, it's sort of like, it's like a act of goodwill towards the community. Um, and I think that it makes the community, like, like them better, <laughs> uh, for very little loss on their part. Like, they're able to give you a pack, an old pack that doesn't sell that well, really easily. Um, and then you were like, oh my god, I got a free pack. I'm gonna play The Sims a bunch again, and then maybe buy another pack, because now I have this one and I want some more. Um, I think that's, like, the idea. Um, it makes you, like, go look at all of the sales stuff. Um, it makes you like them. It makes you, uh, play The Sims again, kind of, like, brings you back into the game. And then maybe you'll buy more packs. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's, this is the, like, third stuff pack they've done for free in a while, which is kind of cool. Um... We'll see if they keep it up. Um, but we were we were literally talking about this, I don't know if it was in a video or on stream a couple days ago, or like last week or something, because we were talking about how they had done a couple of those free packs back in December, and then they hadn't done it again since, and we were wondering if they were gonna do it soon. And then they did. <laughs> they did it again. So that was kind of funny, I guess, um, that we had just talked about it, and then it happened. Um, yeah, the backyard stuff pack is free right now. Um, until the April 13th, I think. So, you want four rent for free? Yeah, they're never gonna do that. I don't think they'll ever do an expansion pack for free. Um, kits and stuff packs are probably more, um, likely because they're smaller and, like, less money is being spent on them because they're cheaper. Um, but just generally speaking, uh, imagine you are EA for a second and you're giving out a pack for free. You're not just doing it to be nice. You've got an ulterior motive. What is the motive, right? We think it's to get people to play The Sims, to make us like them, and also um, to maybe like encourage you to be inspired to buy other packs because you're like, oh, I have this one. Let me see the other ones, you know? Um, so if you're gonna do that, what's best case scenario for you? I'm gonna give a pack out for free. I, I don't wanna give a, the best selling pack out for free because then people will stop buying it. I want to give my worst selling packs out for free <laughs> so that people, they already aren't buying it. I may as well just give it to them 
and then they'll be happy, you know? Um, maybe not like the absolute worst selling, but like one of the worst selling, you know? Like the lower end, less popular packs is what you would choose to give out for free because people aren't buying it. Um, so when you have like a $40 for rent brand new expansion pack that's extremely popular and people are like raving about how fun it is, you're not gonna give that one out for free, <laughs> you know? Um, so, it, I mean, it sucks, but it, it is what it is. That's kind of just how the world works, isn't it? <laughs> um, they gave the Jungle Adventure Pack out for free on the Epic Games Store a while back, but that was like a collab with Epic Games Store. It makes me wonder if Epic like paid them or something. I don't know how Epic's uh, free game deals work, but Epic might pay for that. Epic might have like ate the cost of that one. Um, but with that, I really honestly firmly believe in my heart that Jungle Adventure is the least sold game pack. I really, really, really could see that. <laughs> um, just because it doesn't, it's not as like obvious what it is um, as some of the other packs. Um, things like Parenthood and Dine Out might appeal more broadly. Um, more than Batu. I mean, I, I think that Batu might not be sold as much, but also, um, A, it's a Star Wars pack, so there could be simmers that are like Star Wars fans and not really Sims fans that have bought it, but B, they might have a deal with Disney where they can't do that. You know? I don't know what the like licensing agreement is like with it. Um, they're, they're, it's like more complex because it's like a collab. I am certain that their licensing would make it so they can't make Batu free. Um, that would be my assumption. I obviously don't know that for a fact, so that's just a guess, but um, that's what I would guess if I had to. <laughs> um, okay, we're almost done, sort of. Not really, but sort of. How pregnant are you? Oh, third trimester. Oh god. Okay, we need to find somebody else to have kids with. Um, let me head out. I'm gonna go to a bar or something again and find someone new again. Um, I'll go to Orchid -a go go Same case with Mosquito. It might be. I think that the brand, the Mosquito brand, has a little bit less bargaining power than, like, Disney and Star Wars do. You know? Um... <laughs> If you use my code when you get the pack for free, do I still get money? No, because it's, um, when, so if you use my, like, creator code at checkout when you're buying the pack for free right now, um, I get a 5% commission on the sale. The sale is zero dollars. 5% of zero dollars is zero dollars. <laughs> so I don't make money if you use my code. I suppose that, um... I don't know what they're looking for with this, but I wonder if you did use it anyway, even though it gives me zero dollars, if like the stat of more people used it would be beneficial to them. I don't know. Um, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I, I don't make money off of it. Um, if you buy it for free. <laughs> um, but it is a good way to track also, like if you, you know, you're telling them that um, you learned about it because of me or whatever, and then Maybe that'll help them want to use the creator code program more. Um, didn't have an option. Oh, it didn't let you check out. It just downloaded it. That makes sense. I'm not surprised by that. I'm glad then that it didn't have you check out. With how people were talking about it, I was assuming there was a checkout because people have asked that a few times today. Dimitri Marcus. Oh, I like that guy. Oh, this guy has blue hair. I don't like paparazzi though. So I'll do this one instead. Okay. You had to check out and put in your card info and everything? Oh, weird. Why did some people have to and you didn't? Well, I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works then. Um, okay. Well, let's bring you home with me, Dimitri. We shall see. Um, back to the house. We're looking maybe at the bottom for Dimitri. Okay. Good. Rock, thank you for the prime sub. He was working too. I just brought him home with me. <laughs> yeah, maybe if you already have a card saved to your account, because it's not charging it, maybe it doesn't make you put it in again. Because they're not going to charge you, but maybe just like with how the store works, they can't like let you buy something without like having a thing on file. I don't really understand it. 
um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. You know, Jem, I appreciate you saying that. Here's here's kind of my outlook on like the the Patreon, uh, YouTube memberships, like all of that. I don't really have any desire to ask you all for more money. <laughs> um, okay. Like I because I stream on Twitch and I you get a lot of perks with it on Twitch, like with the no ads and stuff. Um, it's like a, a trade off that I'm willing to accept with them taking like a cut of it. Um, I do have a 70-30 split on subs on Twitch. Um, so that's something. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really feel comfortable like also making a Patreon or like also making a YouTube something. Like I just wouldn't ask you all for money in a secondary location. Um, you don't have to Ooh. worry about me. <laughs> it's kind of my, um, my thought. Um, so. They take 30%, oh my god. That's low. Normally the default split is 50-50. So, <laughs> um, welcome to Twitch. <laughs> um, 30 is a, is a, I have a good cut with me getting 70% split. Um, that's, they normally take 50-50 split. Um, they're making it so, uh, basically if you have more subs, they're giving you a higher split. Oh my god, I starved, I starved the rat. I starved the rat already? Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, gotta get another one. Awkward, 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 awkward. 339, okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. 339. Rapid Ash. Rapid Ash. Rapid Dash? I don't know. Rapid Ash! Well, that was short-lived for that. Oh my god. Sorry, I almost opened The Sims 3 with the smooth patch. Um, okay. Rename. It's a Pokemon horse, is it? Oh, I'm embarrassing myself with my lack of knowledge. Oh, it's cool! Whoa, fire horse! Look! I knew that. I was just making sure you guys knew that. Because I knew it the whole time. I was actually just checking if you knew. <laughs> I totally knew. I totally knew. Okay, um, would you care to maybe take care of this rat real quick? Feed, treat, fill food, clean habitat. Yeah, thank you. Um, you're awake. You have to get your skills up. Maybe you play inside this like three times and then slide like three times. I don't know. Um, well, that wasn't very good of me. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Dimitri, would you like to have a first kiss? Perhaps. I don't know if it's a generation thing. It's it's more just a I have a lack of Pokemon knowledge. That's that's more my issue. <laughs> Is my uh, sincere lack of Pokemon knowledge. Wait, have I given birth to baby number seventy yet? Seventy-two. Dimitri, Marcus. I did, right? Butternut squash. Oh yeah, I didn't put butternut on there. Okay. So we're pregnant with that one right now, and that'll be next. Got it. All is well. Um, and then... I guess you can eat some food. Oh, maybe you should take the photo with Dimitri too before we forget. Just so we're ready when the baby comes. Just so we're prepared. We've had quite a few kids today, right? Um, okay. Dimitri Marcus will be the parent of number 72? Yeah. 
72, Dimitri Marcus. There's something like really just evil about me lining up these photos before the person's even dead. <laughs> like the fact that I'm still doing this, I'm like setting it up in preparation for when they do die. <laughs> That's just not right. It's not right. It's so ominous and kind of evil. Oh, oh, it's midnight. Sorry about New Year's Eve. I didn't really pay attention to that. Um, is there enough time for me to prepare? Because I can get a decor box. Let me see if I can have a good holiday. Put up decorations. You'll like that. And then I would like it also- oh, take a screenshot of this. That's good vibes. You look really cute. Okay, then I want you to make a New Year's resolution. How about to raise a skill? Okay, we're having a good day. I don't know what time the kid will be born, but I expect it to be soon. So we'll have to make sure we're prepared when the time comes. All right, and in the morning we can get this one aged up too, which will also be good. Um, and happy new year. Oh, that guy watched it. <laughs> oh, it's his last new year. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. X, thank you for the eight month resub. I appreciate it. Now that is ominous. Okay. Um. He's now talking to me, which I don't really appreciate. You mind leaving? Thanks. Thanks. All right, tomorrow, I will finish this stupid wormhole generator. <laughs> that is my last and final goal, is to get this wormhole thing completed. And then we will go to space and I will get my crystals. Mark my words. Um. Okay, um... <sighs> Are you done? I know, she mastered photography because <laughs> she's been taking selfies with her victims, so she's got level 10. We have quite a few skills. Leave me alone, I don't want that anymore. It's gonna lag because of this. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. And save the game. All right. So after this, I don't think she has to sleep too much longer. So we should have a little bit of time for us to get to space. Yeah, she's good now. Okay, quick. Keep installing. <laughs> well, we can fertilize this also. I've been using my like, well, that's foul quality. I guess that's a nice quality onion. I could probably use that to fertilize my tree. And then I'll keep working on my upgrades. All right, you like playing in three times it makes your game so laggy? I know, that's kind of the trade-off. I, I find the three times- Ah! No! Oh my god, I'm putting it back. For that, I get to upgrade the quality of it. That's my opinion. Now it's excellent quality. That was really frustrating. <laughs> um, I am not pleased about that, actually. I think that's fair. If the game breaks, then I get to cheat. I don't make the rules. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Okay, so goal today is to get to space and also to make another gemstone for us to plant the tree. Although, no, you know what? Maybe I'll make another tree seed right now. Because we want to be able to plant another one as fast as possible, so I probably should just do it now before I forget, and then we can finish that, yeah? Um, what just happened was the plant glitched and reset and went back to being a dirt pile. It's a, it's a known bug. It's not the first time that's happened. Um, and it's not gonna be the last. <laughs> the plants are, like, totally glitched in this game. Um, Nanette, thank you for the four-month free sub. I appreciate that. 
If that's your rule, may as well just cheat everything right now. No, I won't cheat everything, but I'll cheat some things when the game decides to break. I'll give myself that much to work with. You cannot have your attention be this low. Although, you're close to getting your thing up. Maybe you could babble to the thingy and get your attention higher. Just for a bit. Oh, and it's finally spring, so we'll hopefully have a less bad time when we go try and get crystals in Windenburg. So that's good, I guess. I'll be ready for that. <sighs> She's even like not that slow at making the crystals, but it takes a while still. We might max it. We're level nine. That's not bad. And then we should also give birth like any minute. We are, yeah, give birth in question mark. Okay, you go plant that and then Harvest all these crystals. See if we get anything good. I'm not seeing anything green in the tree, so that's kind of frustrating. But we'll see what we got. Um. Oh? No, never mind. What? <gasps> I'm getting volcanoed! I'm getting volcanoed! Help! 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 Oh my god! You guys, that like genuinely terrified me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I did it on purpose because I wanted to get crystals. I wanted to get crystals from them because you can break it open, but that was so scary. <laughs> it's a lot challenge. It's a lot challenge. There's, um, it comes from Island Living, but you can turn on the lot challenge. Oh, where is it? You can turn it on. Um, volcanic activity and then you occasionally have you know but we've had that for a while and it hasn't happened to us so <laughs> that was a first <laughs> and it was kind of scary okay go plant this come on we got a bit distracted by the uh, volcanic activity didn't get a chance to plant my thing oh my god that's quite the clip isn't it <laughs> Me's just yelling, I'm getting volcanoed! I'm getting volcanoed! Alright, back to space. Well, now we have to wait for them to stop being so hot, and then I can break them open. So that'll be good. There's a couple. Oh, this one can be broken open. Here. you. No one can get to it, because it's on the other side of the fence, but come here. You break it open. What do we got? I got emerald. Boring. This maybe is a good time to save, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it can kill anybody. I don't think it can kill anybody. Um, can also buy crystals on the computer. Yeah, I don't think we can buy the rare ones, though. We're trying to get the plum bite, and I think that's one of the ones that you can't buy like that. No. I'm not hanging out. Yeah, I don't even think it would land on an object, so... I don't think you have to worry about it too much. Decline job offer. Have you finished it yet? Oh, I installed the rocket upgrade! I can't go into space because we're pregnant, but I can make one of our kids do it and then we'll have her come with him. No, I went into labor! Oh my god, uh, that's so annoying! Okay, I'll have the baby first. That was really inconvenient timing. Cause I can't, I'm gonna have to go back home. You got plum bite from the computer? You got plum bite from the computer? Now, hold on. I'm going home real quick, wait. Are you sure? <gasps> we can seduce an alien. Oh my God, wait. I may have to do a, oh, you know what? That guy, Dimitri, he might live to see another day. Because I might get an alien next if I'm going to go into space. Okay. I'll save him there. So that we're ready for the future. Oh, that's fun. Okay, here. You go have your baby quick. Have baby at hospital, send alone. 
and then we'll go try and get pregnant with an alien. Okay, so when you say you purchase crystals um, on the computer, and you were able to buy Plumbite, I don't think so. I think these are just all the same ones that you can buy from, like when you buy it when you're making the um, gems. I don't think you can buy it on the computer. That's what I thought. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. All right. Next baby. Officially, we've had 71. That's pretty good. Let me change the stream title. 71. Um, and then the next one, oh god. The next baby on the spreadsheet, I shall randomize with my little number count. 456. The baby shall be? Oh my gosh, <laughs> they even put gender neutral. <laughs> don't worry, they're all gender neutral in this challenge. Jimin, let me, let me put that on the spreadsheet really fast so I don't forget. And then, oh, no. Not correct font. Okay, there we go. Iconic. Um, and then we'll get that set up, baby born. I'm gonna age it up after I go to space. I'm going to space first, because I'm not pregnant right now, so I can go on my own. Wait. What do you mean continue installing wormhole generator? My wormhole's generated, I went there. What? It took it away from me. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I don't understand that. Why do I have to do it again? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. That guy got an orange topaz. And he got some medals too. I guess maybe you already had those, I don't know. I might try and plant this thing. Punium? <sighs> That's also not all we want. Okay, travel through wormhole. We gotta find an alien boyfriend. Oh, really? Hi, Tilly. <laughs> you got summoned by this, perhaps? I bet you're excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we're getting our crystals. This is this is more like it. Um, Tiff girl, Lily, Emily, thank you for the subs. By the way, Athena too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send an aged up kid to the scientist career for one day and then move them out. Oh, that might be a good idea for our next child. You can get a lot of good crystals in space though. So that's our next plan. Um, We'll get all these ready. All right. So we'll run around and we shall collect. There's actually a whole bunch of space collectibles that we can get too, like aliens and stuff. But not the kind of aliens that you can date, the kind of aliens that you can put in a box, which is one way of looking at it. <laughs> You adopted a baby? Oh, I'll we'll have to check our, our family tree. That's one of our children. Um, we have another grandkid now. That can't be got. If this is your first time seeing this, by the way, uh, welcome in. We still don't have the jet or anything. I'm not getting any of the good ones. Um, but yeah, this is the secret alien world. It takes a bit of effort to get up here, as you have seen. <laughs> Um, but it's kind of cool when you do, so. All right, there's a possibility. Wendy? Wendy Wallace, I may talk to her. No, it's not base game. This is if you have, um, this is if you have get to work. It's the, it comes with aliens with get to work. Another emerald, Oh, jade, ruby. This is so sad. I think we're all the way up here and we're not gonna get any of the ones that I want. I'm getting some medals though. It's 
So I guess that's good. You have get to work? Really? You never seen it? That's kind of fun though. Um, I'm glad to have gotten a chance to show you. Well, now I found a few aliens, so that's also fun. And I don't think that there's any other crystal spots that can be collected, at least right now. But we can make an effort to come back and collect them, like, fairly often, I suppose. A lot of things keep spawning, so that's good. We're gonna be here, like, all night. I'm not even pregnant yet. Do I have the crystal that gives you more crystals? No, but I should make myself a jewelry out of that. I've been so focused on building the rocket ship that I haven't actually made that many crystals yet. So, all right, anybody see any aliens? Leave me alone. Why don't I see any aliens? I like misplaced all of them. Huh. <laughs> there's usually like a million of them around and there's none right now when I need them. <laughs> I should have talked to that lady when I saw her first. That wasn't very smart of me. Uh-oh. We may have to come back and, and have an alien next time. Oh no, here they come. They're spawning again. Kendra. Jamie. Lori. Let's try Kendra. Rosa's too sad. No, no, you don't get sad. Shh, it's okay. Flirty introduction. Okay. Kiss hands. Pick up line. Oh, Kendra's loyal. Oh, wow. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not at all, actually. Um, you know what I might try and do? I might even put a, like a woohoo bush here. And I'll have them, or something that we can woohoo in here. Wait. Let's do that. I wanna get, you know this thing? I feel like that, that kind of makes sense. So I'll be able to woohoo her, her in there. And that'll be really good. Try for baby and shower. Come on. Come on. What, you don't want to? Passionate kiss? Kiss neck? Now will you woohoo in the shower? No? Try for baby and shower. I can't click on it and have them do it. They have to do it on their own. Oh, here we go. Maybe the crystals will respawn while I'm doing it. <laughs> Santa, thanks for the 10 months. I really appreciate that. Okay. Are you pregnant? Yes. Oh, that was so easy. Um, let me quick. There's no phone service in the area. Oh my God. Can I bring her home with me? Sometimes it doesn't let you. I don't know if I can get a picture with that one. I might have to like put her in a club or something. Oh, I can, okay. We can bring her like this, that's easy. Your amorous activity revealed that Kendra is an alien? I'm shocked. I can't believe she's an alien. How could I not have known? <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Yeah, selfies don't require cell service. I guess, I mean, like, they're not gonna be able to, I, I understand the complications of that, like of them trying to organize it that much. So I, I get why, oh, we can have our next try for baby in the rocket ship. That'll be fun. Uh-oh. I'll take my selfie. Oh my God, the game is really having a hard time. Okay, um, would you two care to walk over here together? 
Oh no, there she is. Okay, she's going into the house. Um, reset object. Can I just put her in my household real quick? Come here. I'm gonna kill her from inside of my house. Maintain sim, kill sim. How about anger? Okay. And then you take your pregnancy test. Yeah, we did get a phone call from our kid as soon as we got to 6M. You're right about that. We literally did get a phone call in 6M. The combination of those two sounds, like the eating for two and then the sadness. <laughs> okay, let me rename this one to 73. And this one, 72, will be Kendra. Okay. Um, Kendra... Very similar names. Those are the last two baby parents. <laughs> um, okay, that's where your current Sims City was made? Oh, in the rocket? Oh, good. <laughs> that's, that's lovely. Okay, you grab some food. Oh, there's no food. Okay, you might need to buy some. You serve an assortment of food. Everybody else can go to sleep because we're gonna try and get these kids, um... Oh, you're actually fine. Maybe we can have this one. Never mind, you can't age the kid up yet. We can't save either. You guys can actually not be sad about this. I'm, I really mean that when I say it. Like, it's so annoying that you're pretending to be sad. You don't even know her. I know for a fact that you don't care. This one needs more communication and more movement, but I shall let you... Oh, you don't need to sleep. I'll be able to get you aged up today. Here, come eat. Um, you take a shower, because we kind of have, like, a cloud of stink going on. Hurry up! Oh, I need to add my alien emoji to my spreadsheet, too. Hold on. Back to the spreadsheet again. <laughs> that would be our second alien that we've had kids with. Yeah, we had a long stretch there of no scary sims, but now we've had a couple in a row. All right, um, I hope the next volcano attacks Peppa. Whoa, Christine. What does that even mean? All right, here we go. Bye. Thank you. Simsy, you're the type of person who would cry if someone you didn't know died. <laughs> yes, I am. I, I, and I do, yes. <laughs> but my sims are not. My sims don't care about you. Okay, grab a serving. All right, my next step, I think, is going to be to design some jewelry. I was thinking about making, like, a bracelet. The crystal that gives it so that we find crystals randomly. Um... That's what I want. I don't know which one that is, though, so I have to go through and find them. Um, turquoise, orange topaz, simoleons, diamonds, relation- it's jade, thank you. It's jade. Jade. We'll randomly find crystals doing things around the house. Okay. I'll get myself a bracelet. And you, after you finish eating, your fun is extremely low, but I don't really care about that. I'll let you slide, like, one more time, and then you can talk to these bears. Oh, and I gotta take care of the toddler. I mean, the baby. Sorry. One of the kids is ready to... I think... Which one is, like, almost fully rested? Was it you? Yeah, here. Talk. Bottle feed. Then we'll age you up. Okay. Oh my goodness. Now you're done. Go take- don't worry about doing the dishes! You don't need to do dishes, I'll do them. Alright. 
the jade hasn't worked for you even though you charge you don't find crystals you have to it's random when you click on items so when you like click on the sink to wash your hands you've got a chance of finding one when you click on the shower to take a shower you got a chance of finding one so it's kind of confusing how it works but it's it comes from like as you're physically doing things is when you start getting the the things that you find all right shrimp sit me down it doesn't happen that often. It's not like the most useful thing, but if you can just put on a bracelet and have it be like there and kind of get crystals for free easily, there's there's no harm, I guess. Oh my God, work on the other thing. Dr. Glue on kicked gnomes last night and was getting crystals. See, that's so funny. I love that, that that worked. Um, all right, I'm gonna have you do some tummy time with this kid before you have to wake up and go to school. I am hopeful that this one is gonna get their grade up today. Oh my God, wait, did I ruin you? Hold on, reset, try again. Tummy time together, there you go. Oh, just do it. Maybe I'll start kicking gnomes, it might work. When can you age the newborns up? I age them up immediately now that we have infants. Um, before, the original rule had to do with, like, how many days you had left. Um, or how, like, they had to, li like, wait until it said their birthday is soon and then you could. But now that we have the infant update, I do not care to wait for infants. It doesn't, it, wait for it. It doesn't matter to me, so. That's kind of my thought process, at least. Alright, would you care to hug this bear until we can age you up? Oh, you're not sad either. You don't care about them, I promise. Alright. What crystals do I have charged? I have some Simonite ones. I was gonna give these to the kids. Um, this makes them get, like, their school performance up. Um, so I was gonna have them wear them to school today. The charged ones only. Um, and see if that helps us. Um... But we'll see how it goes. Oh, we haven't looked for the newest grandkid yet either. No, I'll have to do that too. Tummy time. Tummy time. Tummy time. Tummy time. Let's go look at the family tree. Um, come here. The number of sims that we have is like quite shocking. Okay, we're looking for an infant. I think it was... No, not that one. There we go. Cade. Catastrophe has adopted a child called Cade. Wow. Oops, sorry. Go away. Um, I was trying to paste. So the baby's name is Cade, and your parent is Catastrophe. Great. <laughs> Perfect. Um, wait, Beans on Toast is the one who called me? Oh, so you think that's a different one? I don't think that, I feel like I've seen all of these. Kurt, Bobby, Angelina, Kaden, Kayla, Brennan, Carlos, Kailani. I think those are all on there. Huh. Can it go, is there more this way that I haven't seen? Oh! Beans on toast has Tony on toast <laughs> and Casey on toast. Oh, there's more. Do we have Maya on there? Yeah, we do. Oh, there is more, okay. So we have 15 and 16 actually. Um, let me fix that. Tony on toast, okay. So beans on toast, and this one's also beans on toast. What were their names? Casey on toast and Tony on toast. Okay. Casey? I might need to make this wider so I can put Casey on toast. And Tony on toast. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I feel great about this, actually. We've got 16. That's a lot. All right. You need to start taking care of your needs too, kid. We're struggling. I like them. <laughs> Danielle, Breen, and Alyssa, Aromantic Ace, thank you for the subs. Um, how much longer till you're done with yours? You almost got it. You've almost got it. Yeah, I think the last name is fun. I'm glad that you all like it too. I kind of forgot about that sim, so. <laughs> That's a win. All right, hurry up. Take all of those things. Good stuff. All right, and then would you care to, I guess, just get some food and then go to sleep? Everybody else is pretty much fine as far as like their school stuff goes. I'm trying to queue up some more tummy time. <laughs> Wasn't Giraffe supposed to die by now? Yeah, I thought so. Um, we could potentially go through and see um, if he is dead already. Who are we looking for? Giraffe. But I might wait a little bit longer before I get ahead of ourselves and try and find... No, Giraffe's not dead yet. Giraffe's still there. Um, yeah, we... They might have had a pregnancy, but it doesn't look like it, so I don't know why Giraffe is so much younger. Maybe Giraffe took longer for me to get aged up, and I was, like, slower with the process. That's possible. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck space, actually, 41 months! Um, is my Excel template available, please? Um, I don't have, like, a template for you. But uh, if you want to just, like, make a copy of mine, it's linked in the chat. You can edit it for yourself. Um, I didn't make, like, a template or anything. I just made it for myself. Um, so there's not a lot of help there, I guess. All right, let me age up this toddler. Um, candles help. Maybe, oh, not shrimp. Sorry, don't do that. Um... Maybe actually your mom could help you. We'll start there. Oh yeah, I didn't charge the bracelet, did I? I just put it on. I got a little bit ahead of myself. I need to remove it and then charge it afterward. It's 6 a.m. is the problem. Um, start charging that. You help blow out candles for butternut squash. This one, did you get any milestones? No. Go back and help then. Um, that's a good question, Luna. I, I appreciate, like, the sentiment. Um, to be honest, I don't really mind <laughs> what people call me or what pronouns they use for me, I guess. Um, but generally speaking, if someone has told you their preferred pronouns, like if they have them in their bio or somewhere, wherever, um, it's probably not a good idea to default to they, them, especially if they've told you they want something better. Um, I don't know if most people... I, like, it might hurt their feelings if you did that. You know, it, it's probably best to just um, stick to what they've told you to use. If you don't know, they is a, is a good uh, default at first. But once you know, it's probably best to um, stick to what they've told you. <laughs> you know? Um, speaking for other people there. But um, well-intentioned, but, you know, might just be kinder to everybody. Um, would you like to use the birthday cake now? It's like I've tried like three or four times. All right, finally, okay. You can like fitness. I know the sink is broken, I know. We have a couple broken things. I'm trying to find the time to repair them because I'm trying to build the handiness skill while we're doing this. Um, slowly but surely trying to build the handiness skill. Um, because I want Rosa to get to, like, unlock the secret area. So I'm, like, trying to make her repair stuff, but I'm always doing something else that's, like, taking precedent, you know? Um, okay, would you care to add birthday candles there? Send all students alone. All right. Very good. We should be okay now with a few of these getting their grades up. I'll have this one work on all of her needs, which actually went up really fast. <laughs> Um, and then you can come work on a project. Um, okay. Go to sleep. 
and then maybe trash that. Oh my god, the kid's miserable now. Do you wanna just make yourself sleep? Sleep, sleep, make yourself sleep. Okay, I have charged amethyst that I can put in there that will hopefully help you sleep more. All right. <laughs> Devra, thank you for the three months. Um, and then, I guess I wanted you to sleep too, huh? Courage, creativity, food's full. We're good now. We're doing good. We're fine. No, don't nap. Sleep. Sleep. Oh my god. This save is like kind of a lot, isn't it? What are you doing? Maybe I reset her. Oh my god, it's lagging. Oh no. No, 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 no. Sleep. Okay, I save again. Yikes. <laughs> All things considered, though, I know I keep saying this. We actually have had a lot of progress today. We've gotten rid of a bunch of kids. We've had a bunch of babies. Um, the kids are working hard. Yeah, I just said it. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, that's a great tip, Max. Um, if you, like, maybe struggle to remember pronouns, um, like someone in chat just said, because um, some people are forgetful, that's not your fault, but it's probably better to, like, default to name instead of, like, using different or potentially wrong pronouns. Um, especially uh, for, like, maybe trans folks that would be, like, really deeply hurt by that, you know? Um, you don't want to be, like, misgendering someone, <laughs> for example, um, that if you can avoid it. So, uh, defaulting to name is kind of a safe bet. Um, and, and those kind of things. Um, okay. So... I'm not joining this job. Rodent is going to die. Oh, really? I could have sworn it was just fed, though. I thought I just said it. Yeah, its food is full. Um. Okay. Um, Bailey, I hope that you're not being mean. <laughs> you never know with people on Twitch. Um. You, I do. I need to yell at you about this. Maybe I do. Um. So when you're, you use the word they to refer to people in a singular all the time when you're talking about strangers that you don't know. It's not weird to use the word they to, to talk about a person in a singular. Um, and you are not, you are kind of, you suck actually <laughs> for even like trying to argue with us about this. Um, I'm gonna ban them after I yell at them, but um, it's kind of weird if you don't. Like anyway, I'm not, I don't need to teach them. Um, they're not gonna learn. They're just trying to be rude, so. All right, you could probably go to bed, kid, at least for a little bit, and we can work on it more later. Um, ready? There you go. And then the baby probably needs... I actually think the crystal with the higher sleep is working on the baby. It's going up. So that was probably really good of us to do. Um... Anyway, sorry I brought it up. I It's always a balance of like, <laughs> when people like that are in the chat, it's always a balance of like, is it worth it trying to bother discussing this in front of people? Because we're like engaging with a troll, but also it's good to talk about in front of people. So it's like, there's always a balance of like, is it worth even doing this right now? Like, <laughs> you don't wanna engage with a troll, but <laughs> Like, sometimes it's good to clarify to people, so I, I don't know, I'm always like, mm, what's the best way to handle it? <laughs> um, but anyway, sorry about that chat. Um, I'm gonna feed this baby now. And then we will work on doing some tummy time. Um, the maid always puts the food away. It always kind of bugs me, but they always do that. They take the food out of this and put it into the real fridge. Um, I think that it thinks that it's out, even though this is a fridge. Um, that always kind of has, um, I found that kind of annoying too, but they always do that, so. How can you tell if it was a troll or if they're just undereducated? Well, here's, here's kind of my thought, Callisto. Um, what they said was extremely unnecessary. <laughs> and it's like a common, um, a, a common, 
statement used by people that are trying to cause a problem, you know? So if they are genuinely stupid and uneducated about this, I'm gonna be rude to them about it because they were rude first. A, it's not really our business to correct them. And they didn't have to be so rude when, when they asked the question. They didn't ask a question. They said, they is plural, which is like a common thing used by people trying to invalidate people's pronouns. Um, so that's not, that wasn't like a good faith sentence, you know? Um, if they were like, hey, I thought they was plural. I'm confused. Can you explain this to me? Then that's different. You're asking a question that we can maybe assume is coming from a good place. But that person wasn't. <laughs> Um, we can, we can answer questions. They weren't asking a question. They were making kind of an offensive statement, you know? Um, so anyway, sorry to bring it up again, <laughs> but you don't have to give the benefit of the doubt to Twitch trolls chat. Um, you, you're allowed to protect your peace. If they say something questionable, you don't have to be like, oh, they probably didn't mean it like that. Because oftentimes they did. <laughs> we don't have to allow people's space to be transphobic or any kind of bad thing, so. Um. All right, how are we doing? Grades up? Grades up. All right. Um, I might leave a couple of them here just a bit longer, just for the sake of having help in the house, but they'll be able to, to move out soon um, now that they've got A's in school. Um, but I might want help with the infant, so. Um, the rainbow above their heads is because of the, uh, we have, like, one of the lot traits that helps them. What is it? This one. Good schools. Child's play. Those things. Um, yeah, Amber, again, I'm really, you guys, I, you do not have to defend the transphobe. <laughs> I, I know you're coming from a good place. I deal with this on a daily basis. You guys, I, I see hundreds of trolls, okay? I have gotten really good at distinguishing between a good faith question and a person who doesn't know better and they're genuinely asking, genuinely curious, don't speak English as first language. I, I can tell the difference between a person who's being kind and a person who's being nasty. <laughs> I, I promise you, we are not banning someone for no reason. It just doesn't have to be a thing. We, don't see, we should stop talking about it. But I, I'm i very experienced in this field, okay? <laughs> um, we, we are, we've been there, done that. <laughs> so, um, it's, we don't need to defend this person, okay? Um, there are times where people don't mean harm. This isn't one of them, all right? Um... So let's put our food back out now that the person is gone and people can get some food to eat for themselves. I don't really care what happens to these two, so. Um, after you finish bathing the kid, I'm gonna have one of your other kids go help you take care of it. And then we will work on maybe making some more crystals or something. I don't know. I don't know. Did you have a thunderstorm today, Christine? Oh, that's fun. Um, it hasn't stormed in a long time here, um, which always makes me feel kind of sad. I love the storms. I'm I'm not looking forward to the summer because you know I hate summer in Florida. It's miserable, but I am looking forward to the storms. It's kind of fun. Um, okay, so beyond that, Perhaps you could, oh, you want to get some food? Well, I watched Taylor tonight. I'm not going to watch the uh, Eras Tour movie tonight. No, I have a lot to do tonight, unfortunately. Um, I'm not going to the Magic Realm. I couldn't be on my PC all day yesterday because the people were in my office uh, working on the AC. I was using my laptop, but um, there's a lot of things that I like need my PC for work-wise that I can't really do as easily on my laptop. Um, so I, I'm kind of behind. <laughs> I have some stuff I need to do tonight because I didn't have time to finish it yesterday, but. Um, so, okay. Yeah, there is a fence. It's a, it's a very thin, small fence right here. Um, 
Yeah, the Dan told me that one of the guys um, that was working on the AC, he was like, oh, I see some YouTube plaques because I have, I don't know if you can tell, that's the million sub plaque is right there. Above it, there's a 100K plaque and I have another 100K plaque behind me in there. He was like, oh, I see some YouTube plaques in there. Like, what's up with that? Um, and then Dan was like, oh, those are my wife's, yeah. <laughs> but they say my name. I know they looked me up. I would have too. If I was in a room that had YouTube plaques, I would have looked it up too. Um, with this like ridiculous setup as well. Yeah, I would have looked it up too. Um, but I mean, like there's a very obvious million subscriber YouTube plaque right in the room. <laughs> um, so it, I mean, I would be curious as well. Um, reasonable question to ask. <laughs> But that was kind of fun. Um, okay, you are getting very tired, aren't you? Yikes, sorry about that. Oh, repair this. More things for us to fix. Did you not hang up your Lil Simsy light? Oh no, there's a Lil Simsy light up sign right there. Oh my God, I forgot. Oh, there is, I have like an LED, yes, it wasn't plugged in, but there's an LED sign that says Lil Simsy right there on that wall too, huge and cursive with a Twitch logo. Literally, you guys, look at this. Hold on. Wow. I wonder who lives here. <laughs> I wonder who could be in this room. I forgot about that, too. Oh, now I feel embarrassed. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> Twitch sent me that sign. They sent it to me, get this, as a wedding gift. <gasps> Is that it? No. Um, but they they uh, made me an LED sign with my name on it and sent it to me as a wedding gift. Which is kind of cute of them. Nothing new! No, they didn't send Dan one. <laughs> Mm, just me, actually. <laughs> Not Dan, just me. Too bad for, for him, I guess. Um, but listen, I know people at Twitch. So they sent it to me. He doesn't know people at Twitch to send him a gift. I guess they do know him because they know me, but no, he didn't get a gift. Did I invite companies to my wedding? No, I didn't. I've heard people doing that and hoping to get gifts back, but I didn't do that. Um, I don't know. That's kind of interesting though. Oh, that reminds me. I have to resend one of my cousin's invitations because it got returned to sender and I don't know why because it has the right address on it. Um, so I have to send it to them again because it got returned to me. Invite Logitech. <laughs> Hey Logitech, um, huge fan. Uh, just so you know, I'm um, I'm having a second wedding. <laughs> you know how I got married two and a half years ago? Yeah. Well, we're having a wedding now. Would you like to come? <laughs> um, hey, I love these headphones, by the way, Logitech. <laughs> Maybe Dan can get his Twitch sign for our second wedding. That's true. That might be good. That might be good. <laughs> this could be his time. If you're new to my channel, we um we got married during COVID uh, and like quickly because we fought, we we did um if you've seen the show 90 Day Fiance on TLC, that visa they have, it's called the K1 fiance visa and it takes like it took us like a year and a half to get the visa actually issued and then once he got it we had to get married within 90 days of him being here. So it's not as chaotic as the show makes it seem. Like we actually dated for a long time before this happened. But anyway, we had to get married within 90 days of him being here. So there's not a lot of time to plan anything. And also um, COVID. So his family couldn't come and stuff like that because um, the borders were closed. So we got married just at the courthouse then, but we wanted to have like a wedding wedding, which is why we're doing this now, so. We weren't on the show. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm. That's just an example because people might be familiar with the show, so they might have. Uh, they might know about the visa because of it. Um, but no, I wasn't on the show. It just. It's the same visa as those people do. Those people are scary though. Their relationships are kind of um, alarming. I would say. God, no, I didn't go on the show. 
You mean TV exaggerates things for entertainment? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that reality show is not close to the real life experience of other people that do that visa? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Are you really, Nixie? Um, yeah, that's really cool. I, I'm excited for you. Can I give you a piece of advice as a person who did this though? And this might not, you maybe know this already and you've chosen it despite the fact, but having done the K-1 visa, I would absolutely never encourage anyone else to ever do it again. Get married first. I know it sucks. It's not what you want. It's not ideal. But like if, if he comes here, you have a courthouse wedding in America and he goes back home and you file for a spousal visa. I know it sucks. You don't want to live apart after you've been married. But the spousal visa is so much better. You get work permit and green card immediately. You don't have to wait all that extra time. Like the process that me and Dan are in right now with like the renewal of his green card after wait, like we had to wait months to apply, like get the green card. Like it just spousal visa. Don't do a K-1 visa. Don't do it. That's my advice after having gone through it. <laughs> um, but this is a very niche thing to people that, that it would apply to, but um, yeah, that's what I would do. I know it sucks because again, you don't want to get married and live apart, but it's it will set you up way better. He will have a way better experience when he comes here because he'll get his green card day one and not have to wait for like, we had to do an extra interview and wait all these extra months and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> Also during COVID, they weren't processing K-1 visas when they were processing the spousal visas. Um, so that was half the problem as well. Um, Cause they were like prioritizing them. Yeah, if I could go back and do it all over again, if I had known in February of 2020, what would have gone down, then I would have done it differently. But um, anyway, <laughs> um, big, uh, big weird stuff to worry about. <laughs> Most people would never have to think about this, but <laughs> um, I did, so. Okay, you want to come weed this quickly? Um, we met kind of on Twitch, Wholesome, to be honest. He used to be friends with and mod for um, a person that I knew a long time ago um, that we kind of like have mutual friends basically on Twitch. Um, and then we started talking a lot in like that person's Discord server, which is kind of cringe, but you know, you become friends as part of like a friend group and then you become close individually. And <sighs> now he's, we're married and he lives in Florida and we have three cats. <laughs> um, so life comes at you fast, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that happens. Oh, what are you doing? Okay. Um, this baby is still asleep. I might send most everybody else to sleep now, because yikes. Um. Oh, really? Two cats? That's really cool. It is, it is quite the process, yeah. Um, the stage that Dan is in right now, um, basically when he got his green card, we, he got a two-year conditional green card. Conditional, um, as in, like, if you get divorced, they take it away. <laughs> um. And uh, we had to like get married, file to adjust status, apply for the green card, do another interview, um, get the green card issued. He finally had the green card, took months to get to that point. Well, now it's been almost two years since he got the green card and expires in April. So a few months ago, we had to file to like um, remove the conditions on his green card. Um, and so then he would get like a 10 year green card basically. Um, <laughs> except their backlog is so big that he's never going to get the 10 year green card. Um, so what he has right now is a soon to be expired green card and a letter from the government saying, don't worry, we extended it, but we're not going to issue new, a new card. You have to wait. So he has an expired green card soon, not yet. And the, the paper saying, actually it's not expired, but the card looks expired, but the paper says it's not. So dumb. And then he's going to be able to apply for citizenship in like a year. Um, and then he'll have that before he gets his green card again, probably. Because <laughs> the backlog's so long. So, um, yikes. <laughs> so, so, so silly. So silly. Um, and this is the easy way. This is like easy immigration compared to what a lot of people have to deal with. So, um... Yeah, he'll be able to be a dual citizen. Yeah, you can maintain dual citizenship in the U US and the UK. It depends on where you're from. Um, not all countries allow you to be a dual citizen. It's like hold two citizenships, but the US and the UK do, so. Um, 
Yeah, he can leave the U.S. Um, he'll have to, like, bring the paper and the card with him to show. It's, like, a nice paper. It's on, like, thick cardstock. Um, but silly. Yeah, the physical card that he has, it's, like, when they talk about a green card, it's a permanent residence card. Um, and it uh, it's a physical card. It's, like, an ID. Um, it, it's, like, the most aggressively American thing you're ever going to see. This is just a random one off Google. Wait, let me see if I can get a bigger picture. Um, it looks like, like this. Um, it's really American. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a, it's a literal card. So, it's kind of green. It's like a bluish green. But yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> so, when they say green card, they mean it. <laughs> Um, oh, you know what's so sad? Get this. Dan finally got his, um, physical, uh, learner's permit. Oh my god. The process of getting this from the state of Florida. You guys, they sat on his application for it for, like, two months. Over. We had to go to the DMV twice. It was a whole thing. Um, but he finally has the card. Again, immigrant sucks, but he has a physical card now, so he has a Florida ID now. Um, and he, he went and he tried to buy alcohol with it because he was, like, excited to get carded with his, like, Florida ID for the first time. They didn't card him. He was kind of sad about it. He was, like, he bought it on purpose so they would card him and he could use his new ID, and they didn't card him. <laughs> and he was like, oh, man, I look old now. <laughs> but it was kind of funny, though. We were both, like, really excited about it, and then, nope. Not carded. <laughs> he's 26, so he's getting up there. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me see about queuing up some tummy time. And I'll probably end stream in a minute or two here. Um, so, you just got carded for cough drops? Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Um, do you get carded when I buy it? Like, if I buy alcohol? They didn't card me either. Sometimes they'll card both people, sometimes they'll card one, sometimes they'll card none. Um, but no, they didn't card him, so. Poor Dan. <laughs> so sad for you. Um, I think you're sub I, they probably should have carded him. Um, cause like, these places that have that like, oh, we card everyone under 40. But, he got lucky, or in his case, unlucky. <laughs> you go in there, and imagine you're like, oh, can you check my ID, though? <laughs> They're like, okay, the total is, and you're like, oh, wait a minute, can I, can I just show you this, please? <laughs> I just, can you just look at it, because I just got it? <laughs> That's how I felt. The first time I ever bought alcohol, I don't drink, really, I have at all, but the first time I ever bought alcohol, I was 18, I was in the UK, um, and me and Dan went to to go to the store on purpose because we were like, haha, you're gonna buy like your first legal drink. Maybe I was 19 actually. I was probably 19 because I was with Dan. Um, but we went there and they didn't card me. And I was like, oh man, <laughs> I was gonna get carded for the first time and they didn't, they didn't card me. <laughs> so sad for me, but it's okay, I got over it. <laughs> it's like you get excited about it when you're young, you know? Um, I have my passport and everything. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Max, Teeny, thank you for the subs. All right. I think on that note, I am probably going to end the stream here, though. Um, thank you all for hanging out with me. I had, like, a genuinely really fun time today. <laughs> I'm actually really liking this this challenge again. I, I kind of got a little um, out of it when I was living in the old house and it was getting kind of repetitive, but I think we've done enough at this point to make it feel less repetitive and it's just been really fun. So hopefully you're enjoying it too. Um, I would like to maybe go over and raid somebody who is also playing The Sims. Um, I think that might be kind of fun. Um, in fact, let me check something really fast, um, very quickly first. Um, Oh, I know what to do. My friend Steve is going live right now because I am literally about to go play truck sim with Steve. <laughs> I didn't know if he was live yet. My friend Steve is live. Um, I'm gonna get off stream. I don't really wanna stream my 
my perspective, I'm not really feeling up to being on cam. That's why I'm sorry, I didn't tell you in advance. Um, I didn't know if you had gone live yet. I was gonna tell you in the Discord, but I'll tell you now. Um, I'm not really feeling up to being on cam, so that's why I'm gonna play Truck Sim off stream, I think, but he'll be live. Um, <laughs> and um, I will catch you all over there if you wanna go say hi to Steve for me. Um, we'll, I'll be like in the voice call and stuff. Um, but I certainly feel up to being live like extra time. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but we, we haven't played Truck Sim in a while, so we're gonna play a little bit of Truck American Truck Sim together. Um, he's not currently on camera yet. He's in a starting soon screen, but just you can just wait, I guess. <laughs> um, and I will see you over there. Tomorrow I'll be live. Um, tomorrow we're gonna play some Sims. We talked about doing a build, maybe a high school, maybe a restaurant. There was a couple different ideas. The restaurant concept was like Stanley Humphreys hot dog shop kind of energy. Um, so we're thinking about doing that tomorrow potentially, but also maybe a high school. We can vote when we get onto stream tomorrow. Um, or a backyard stuff build. Oh, that's true, because backyard stuff is free. Oh, that could be an idea as well to do a backyard stuff, but we'll have to, we'll see about it. We'll have to see about it. Um, we'll do like a three-way poll or something. <laughs> uh, but I'll see you, I'll see you from Steve's stream chat. Like I said, I'll be over there. I'll be live with him. I'm gonna like talk to him in the voice call um, and we'll play some games and stuff and I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, have a good night. See you at Steve's. <laughs> Bye. Oops, and stop the stream.